Hey there everybody, it's the Nasty One here again. Welcome back to year two of the Hot Corners Dynasty here on Twitch. And earlier today we released part one of the season, games one through four. Hot Corners, we split them two two. Uh, we started off with a victory on opening day at the Herbosaurus Home Ballpark. Lost a close one at the Freebooters Ballpark, where we made a late comeback but just couldn't seal the deal. Uh, won the third game, 3-1, to one, and a nice pitcher's duel with Presidente. And then we lost game four, 7-2, thanks to frickin' Marsha... Marsha Brown, yeah. No other reason, just Marsha Brown. She had six out of those seven RBIs for the Sandcats. She isn't in the lineup that day due to that injury. No question we win that game hands down. We'll probably win 2-1. to one. Anyway, today in this stream, we're going to look to get to the halfway point of the season. And that means four more games on slate. We got Noah Kaiser, Frazier, President Dan Smith scheduled to pitch. Be taking on the Moon Stars in the uh, third consecutive out of, comp out of division game. It's still in our conference. Then we'll take on the Moose for the first time this year and take on the Wild Pigs for the first two times this season to close it out. So, have a look. We already set the lineup, I believe, before we ended last stream. We did. We're going to give young Dig Affordo a chance to play in the starting lineup today, even though he can't hit for crap. Uh, Apollo Oliver's coming out to be play behind the plate so Stagcleaf can heal up. And we got Arms U starting in left field today to give the slumping Buck Swat some time to think about how he can hit better. Other than that, we don't have any other changes planned, although we can take a look here at the free agent roster to see what else we have available. Obviously, Lorenzo Praline was released in a very surprise decision <laughs> right after we played his Herbosaurus in Game 1. Due to a late error that he committed that cost them the game. But in all seriousness, let's see if there's anybody I actually want to add here. I mean, Praline is very young, so I want to see what he goes for. And we still got Turbo Miles out here. He's 23. He just can't field. But we already locked up second base with Caleb McClure. He's the same age, so that would kind of be a dumb move on our part, I think. Probably look to cut some cap if we do end up losing today. Buck Swiner is a candidate to be released. Uh, Jeb Jumps, Dirk Sportswood as well. Possibly Norton Pickle because he is slumping pretty hard this year. Also look, maybe look to cut Joseph Brosev at 7-2. Everyone else in the pitching staff outside of Connor Frazier and Noah Kaiser is, you know, pretty safe. But I don't see us getting rid of Kaiser or Frazier unless it's like a really, really, like we lose these next four games. I think then we consider getting rid of them because they'll be halfway home and we'll be 2-6. and six. So, but we'll just have to see how things play out. I mean, really, the only two sizable replacements would be Steely and Bustam, and neither of them can play very good defense. So, it's like, do you really want to shoot yourself in the foot right now? No. So maybe we'll keep Sportswood until the end of the year unless a nice young first baseman that can field comes out or like a, just a first baseman who can field in general comes out onto the free agent market. We've locked up second base already. We can skip all these guys. We move down to third base. Trisha Lee is not cutting it right now. But Snack is out there, so we can bring him back if, you know, things keep and continue to go downhill for her. Macy Stone, probably not an option. Uh, shortstop, we don't necessarily need right now, but putting Freeman on the thing is not a bad idea. Uh, left field, where we've got Buck Swiner, but he is slumping, so I could see Biff Noggins coming in, but he can't really field. Clyde Oliver, he's more of a fielder than he is a hitter, but, you know, he's an option. We'll put him on the list. Same with Rosie Hardman. Uh, center field, we've locked up already with Geronimo James. I don't even think Praline would be the best option. I just have him on here. I want to see what he gets signed for. Right field, we have LeBoink. He's pretty reasonably priced, so we're not looking to change that up. Uh, relief pitching, that might be where it's at now. Got young Shady. We'll put her on the target list. We could bring in a young reliever here, like maybe put in one guy for one year, like Steamboat LaSalle. He could be an option further on down the road. Uh, holder close, 35. Only really suitable long relief pitcher out there. We have no closers on the free agent market. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind having Dusty Winder on here. I mean, I already pitched with him in my B Wolves offline season, so you know I know how he how I, how to work with him. And for starters, um, 
I mean, could we conceivably walk away from Tarak Smith? It is at all possible. Bay Paul is available, so so is Hannah Hogswin. Bali on there. Meet Bali. Meet Bali. Parley. Parley. <laughs> Harbor mouth. I like my Harbor mouth. He can hit bombs. Either Sano. I'm not gonna worry about him. Maybe put Walkman on there too, just you know, just for shits and giggles. Why not? All right, let's jump into game number five here as we take on the Moon Stars, who have the, probably the best starting pitching in the entire league. With we're going to be taking on their ace, <sighs> Elisa Woodrow, and we got our ace Noah Kaiser on the hill. That's a B plus on our end versus an S. Yeah, this is probably not going to go well. <laughs> but hey, you never know. Hop in and just, you know, see how things turn out, I guess. Rock on, brother. Rock on. There we are. Game number five. Getting ready to get underway as we will be up first. Only person with any mojo on our side is Jeff Jumps. They have leadoff man hitting it. Knox and Benicio is not hitting very well. Lewis is coming into a team tired. We will see former slugger Bobby Bash in this game as he is playing third base for the Moon Stars. Oh. Geronimo James leading off here, 353 with two RBIs here in the young season. Quarter of the way over, and here's Elisa Woodrow. First pitch from her is a slider on the inside corner for a strike. And he's behind on that 100 mile an hour here, 0 and 2 now. Rips that one up the middle though, and James gets the game started with a base hit. Geronimo looking good here to start the game. I'm going to bring up Stu Burko, batting 353 as well on the year. He has three RBIs. He's one-upping there, um, one-upping James. First pitch is high for ball one. Boo Lewis has a very good arm behind the plate, so we will not be running on him. Burko ahead in the count, 2-0 as the second fastball misses as well from Woodrow. Curveball inside for ball three, 3-0 three the count. Look, Barco takes a four-pitch walk as the first two batters are on. Again, that have faced Woodrow. No outs. And here is Dirk Sportswood. Went three for three in yesterday's game. In game number four, he also drew a walk, getting his first hits and well as his first RBI. So his average is very deceiving at the moment. He is currently hitting very well as the slider's on the inside corner for a strike. Inside on the slider again. One and one. Slider rips into the right center gap as Windy Wheels is over, but he's not going to get to it, and that's going to hop all the way to the wall. James is going to score easily from second as Burko is going to round third as well. And on his way in, Vinicio throws the third to keep Sportswood at second. It's a two-RBI double for Dirk as his average should go up over 200 on the year, and he now has two more RBIs, giving him three on the young season, which is I think he finished with 11 last year, so he's already almost halfway there. Here is Jeb Jumps, the hottest hitter on the team so far, batting at 533 two homers and three RBIs. He's taken lessons from Stan Alive, recently retired. Fastball below the knees from Woodrow, 1-0. Slider missed it, 1-1, one one, jumped behind. That curveball broke inside, but he was just out in front, 1-2. Turns on the next one, skies it in the shallow left right center field. That's actually moderately deep. Klopp will make the catch as he will get it in, and Sportswood will tag and go to third on the play. So with one out, the runner is 90 feet away, and the Hawkins have a chance to get another run. Billy LeBoink has the second highest average on the team at 471. He also has a home run and six RBIs, leads the team in that category. Fastball at the knees for a strike on the two-seamer from Woodrow, 1-0. That fastball missed high, 1-1. Slider right in the middle, 1-2. And LeBoink goes down, swinging on four pitches. Two outs now, runner still a third for a rookie Apollo Oliver, the catcher playing the day after having two games off. He's got a 375 average and two RBIs on the young season. Slider below the knees for a ball, one to know he checked on it. Fastball lined up the middle, that's gonna get down for a base hit as a live, uh, as a Oliver drives in his third run. Sportswood scores from third, it's now a three nothing lead for the Hot Corners in inning number one before Kaiser even has to take the mound. Norton Pickle up now, the shortstop batting 214 on the young season. He has two RBIs. He had two hits last game. Fastball up at the letters for a strike, 0 1. Next pitch is outside on the fastball from Woodrow, 1 1. Fastball at the knees for a strike, 1 2. Pickle behind. Grounded up the middle softly, cutting it off as Bash. He will go to first with it. Bash playing shortstop, interesting, as he makes the out. But Hot Corners get three hits and drive in and a walk and drive in three runs, and they now lead it 3-0 before Kaiser takes the hill. Will Wheels, Klopp, and Bash to lead. 
place has him in first. Here is Windy Wheels hitting on fire right now. The man is currently outperforming his abilities, batting at 400 with three RBIs. Time, we're going to answer this message. All right, and Kaiser comes in with an ERA of 5.14 and a whip over 1.25. Not the best outing in his first start, but he did manage to walk away with the victory in that game. Curve ball down on the knees for a strike. 0 and 1 the count as he's quickly ahead. Slider up and away for a strike as Wheels is behind 0 and 2 in the count and K dot activates. Starts with a two seamer low and away just outside for ball one. One and two the count. Kaiser up with it. Here's the fork ball, and that is ripped in the right field. That will get down in front of the point for a base hit as Wheels continues his hot start to the season, now batting over 400. Next, that'll bring up rookie Jeffrey Klopp getting the start in right field. He's a free agent acquisition for the Moon Stars, currently batting in measly 091. And be careful with Wheels, he is going to go. Pick off the first, not in time as Wheels gets back. He was waiting for it. Pitch out is on, but he's holding it first, 1-0. Kaiser goes low and away with the curve, and that's a strike as Klopp takes it. You see him up and away. Another pitch out. No go for the runner. 2-1 the count. Fork ball low and inside as Klopp checks on it. It's a strike, 2-2. Two two. Slider high and away. Taken by Klopp for ball three. Full count. Peter up and in, taken for ball four. Works the walk, and the first two batters are on against Kaiser. Got to bring up former hot corner Bobby Bash. He was originally with us for the first half of the season of number one, and he was let go. Now batting 313, actually getting things going for himself. Curve ball low and away for a strike. 0 and 1 the count. Kaiser picks off the second, and Wales gets back. You see him up and in for ball one, 1 and 1. Peter low and in, ball two, two and one the count. Off the plate. Slider up and away, ball three just misses. Kaiser not getting the call here. Fork ball low and in for a strike, full count now. Fork ball low and away, ripped up the middle. That's going to be a base hit in front of James as the runner took off. Throw in from James will hold him to the third though, and the bases are loaded against Kaiser. Give him up two hits and a walk here as Herbert Hackman coming up. Still not hitting very well. Last we left off, Hackman was hitting at about buck 50. Now he's currently hitting at 200 to start the year, but he has three RBIs, and he loves the inside pitch. So Kaiser's got to work carefully here. First pitch to Hackman, low and away, ripped into right field. LaPointe retreats on it. Makes catch for the first out as the throw will come in. And it's cut. Throw to third by time. Both runners on second and third advance. It's three to one. Moonstars get on the board thanks to the sack fly. Archibald knocks up now. He's a rookie signed to play third base. Batting 364 with a home run and four RBIs on the young season. Looking to keep his hot hitting going. Knox rips the first pitch fastball down the right field line. And that will be just foul, says the umpire. 0-1. Kaiser got a break on that one. Slider low and in, called the ball, one and one. Two seamer up and away, high, two and one the count. Fastball low and away, rip the jumps, dives to cut it off. He'll flip the second one, on to first with it, just in time as it's a 4-6-3 double play to get out of the inning. Kaiser gives up a run on two hits and a walk, but other than that, he got out of the jam. You, Efforto, and James up to face Woodrow in the second. You and Afforda will be making their star first starts for the Hot Corners. You making his debut in the Super Mega League. Not the best hitter. He's more of a defensive player at best. But, you know, we're going to give the young man a chance here as Buck Swiner's currently not hitting very well. He will face Woodrow, one of the best pitchers in the league in his first assignment. Tough matchup.
First pitch to you is a fastball in the inside corner for a strike high and in. Slider ripped the right field and you as his first career hit and the Super Mega League as he reaches with a base hit to start the second leadoff man on for the hot corners in back-to-back -back innings. The third baseman. Third baseman Digafordo is a shortstop by trade, but he's a utility infielder. He was on the buzz in year one as a rookie coming in. He did not get much playing time, as you can obviously tell. He was generally used as a defensive replacement. Offensively, this man is just, oh. Take Lars, cut him in half. Yeah, that's about how bad he is. But Dig is a very good um, fielder, so he can come in and play. I'm letting him start today because why not? He can't be any worse than Lee right now. He's also got Whiffer, so we've got to be careful with that as the first pitch slider is called a strike on the inside. 1-0. 0-1 oh. Oh to count. Turns the second pitch back into the left center gap, and that will get down for a base hit. Wheels cuts it off as the runner goes to third on the play, and he's, oh, it's an error by Woodrow was back there. I believe that is Hackman playing third base as he drops the ball, <laughs> allowing you to reach third on the single. Runners at the corners for Geronimo James now. One for one with the single. Also scored a run as the first pitch is a changeup inside for ball one. James looking over the outside part of the plate, and that slider's ripped up the middle. A base hit as Yu's going to come in to score from third, and we will hold a Fordo at second base. 4 1 your score as the hot corners get that first inning run back. Now Stu Burko up, drew a walk his first time up. No official at bat on the line score. He has a plate appearance though. Woodrow's ERA is steadily climbing as she's not finding it here. First pitch changeup on high and inside for a strike. Fastball inside that time to Burko, one and one. Fastball on the outside high corner, one and two. Chase that one high, and Burko's down on strikes for the first out. Sports went up now. He doubled in two runs in the first inning. Now with his second at bat here in the second, he's at 250 on the young season. First pitch swung through it for a fastball, 0-1 oh, one, one strike to Sportswood. Turns on the second pitch, drives it down the left field line. That will get out of play, though, harmlessly. 0-2 oh, the count. Sportswood looking to stay alive. Turns on the changeup, pulls it foul. Still 0-2. Oh, Woodrow ahead. Fastball hit foul into the first base dugout as the Moonstars duck. Still 0-2. Oh, That's ripped into left center. Will it hang? It's caught by Bubbles Garcia. Second out. Good reach down there from the left fielder as both runners have to hold. Sportswood almost had his second double. That'll bring up Jeb Jumps, batting 0 for 1 today. He's only hitting 500 on the air. Hopefully he can bounce back. Stay above 500. That'd be nice. Fastball on the high inside corner for a strike. Going 1. That slide curveball is ripped on the ground to short. Bash goes to first with it, and he'll retire. Jumps to end the inning. Hot corners do manage to get three more hits in the second and drive in another run. 4-1 your score, bottom two. Gustafson, Garcia, and Lewis. Here is Gustav Gustafsson, generally the left fielder today. He is DHing as he's more of a hitter than a fielder. Kaiser to face. First pitch fastball low and away for a strike, going one the count. Fork ball low and in. Gustafsson hits it back up the middle for another base hit as he starts inning off right. Back to back innings, the Moon Stars have the first batter on. I'm going to bring up Bubbles Garcia, starting in left field today, originally from the Moose. He was released midway through last year. He is starting left field. He's a better defensive player than hitter. He's known for being a great power bat, but has no contact as the inside slider misses for ball one. Away called a strike, one and one. Four-seamer up and away, called a strike, one and two, quickly the count. Fair ball up and in, taken for a ball as Garcia doesn't bite, two-two. Fork ball low and away, fouled off by Garcia. Stays alive. Fair ball low and in the dirt, grounded the short softly. Pickle goes to second with it, one on to first with it is jumps, and that's a double play as the leadoff hitter is erased. Boo Lewis up now, the catcher today for the Moonstars in his second season in the Super Mega League, hitting 313 currently with a home run and two RBIs. First pitch fastball at the knees for a strike, going one. Two seamer high and tight, popped up behind the plate. Apollo Oliver back for it. He's calling for it on the dirt, and he will make the catch for the third out. Kaiser gets an unconventional 1-2-3 inning as he keeps it score at the score at 4-1. Top three we go. Woodrow's already given up six hits and a walk here in only two innings of work and is over 40 pitches. Not her best outing of the year. Her first outing, she gave up no earned runs and has already given up quadruple that. Well, actually, really, multiplying anything by zero is still zero. So, really, she's done 400% worse, I think. Here is Billy LeBoyne for his second at bat. Chased the fastball high for strike one. Fastball outside, misses, one and one the count now. Slider caught the top of the zone, debatable, one and two. 
Curve ball grounded up the middle, pass Woodrow as Vinicio to backhand in the hole. He'll go to first and retire the slow LeBoink as the mojo for Woodrow goes back to neutral. That'll bring up Apollo Oliver. He singled in a run his first time up in the first inning. Slider high and outside for a strike, 0-1. Fastball up, missed the zone, 1-1. One one. Slider above the zone, he chased it, popped up to second. Vinicio in on the grass. He'll make the catch for the second out. Very painless inning for Woodrow so far. As pickles up, he grounded out his last time up. Batting him easily, 200. First pitch ripped right to Vinicio at second. That's a third consecutive out recorded by him. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Woodrow, her first of the game. Bottom three we go, it remains 4-1. Vinicio wheels and clop to face Kaiser. Here is Pepe Vinicio batting 143 on the year. No RBIs or home runs to speak of. Vinicio takes a fork ball inside. Missed 1-0. Fastball up and away. Swung through it and he missed it. 1-1. One one. Teru Seamer ripped into the center field and that will be a base hit as James gets it in. That's the third consecutive inning that the Moonstars have had the leadoff man on. Kaiser really needs to start retiring the leadoff batter. As Windy Wheels is up, he had a single back in the first inning and then he scored a run as well. Curveball low and away for a strike, 0 1 the count. Seamer up and in, taken for strike two as a throw down from Oliver. Airmails the shortstop and that's the stolen base. O2 the count as he did take that second pitch for a strike, but the stolen base goes to Benicio as he moves up into scoring position for Wheels. Probably the best place for him as Wheels is very hot right now. Slider grounded softly to short. Pickle has to go to third with it as Benicio hesitates. He's in a rundown. Affordo throws at the jumps, who's now chasing. He throws to the pitcher, Kaiser, who now chases. Goes to second with it as Pickle's there. He's going to chase him. Now to Affordo on third. He will run him down here, hopefully. No, he's going to throw to second as James has to do it. Coming in from center field to make the out. Good run down defense here for the Hawkmorns. It's the third runner they've caught this year doing that. Klopp up, drew a walk his first time up. No official at bat here in the game. First pitch fastball low and in. Skied in the left field as Yu is back on the warning track in left center field. He will call off James. Makes the catch for the second out as the runner retreats to first on the play. Two outs and Windy Wheels still at first base with Bobby Bash up. He singled in the first inning. First pitch curveball to Bash is taken for a strike as he checked on it but decided not to swing. Pork ball low and in the dirt. Throw down from Oliver is not in time as Wheels steals second. That's the second stolen base of the inning for the Moonstars as the speedy center fielder is in scoring position. Slider up and away from Kaiser is taken high by Bash. Two and one. Heater up. Ball three. Three and one the count. Two seamer middle away is taken for a strike as Bash checked on it again. Full count. Slider low and in, skied to right center. LeBoink over, calls off James, and Billy puts it away for the third out as Kaiser strands the runner. 4-1 remains the score as Kaiser gives up a hit, but nothing, no damage done. Top four, it's 4-1. Four to one. U, Fordo, and James to phase Woodrow. Here is Arms U, singled his last time up in the second inning, got his first career hit. Single dropped in front of the right fielder as the first pitch is high with a fastball, 1-0 from Woodrow. Woodrow set, delivers the second pitch as that's at the letters for a strike. One and one the count, two fastballs. Turns on the curveball, pulls it foul into the seats, one and two. Fouled off again by, by um, you. Behind on the fastball, he's down on strikes for the first out. Fourth consecutive batter that she's retired. Here's Dick Affordo, he singled into left center field his last time up. Fastball on the outside, called a strike, going one. Curveball turned on and ground softly to short. Bash there to field. He'll fire on to first, and that's two quick outs for Woodrow. That'll bring up Geronimo James, two for two today. Two singles and an RBI to his credit. Fastball inside misses for ball one as Woodrow looked to hit the high inside corner. Second pitch is skied out to center field as that's going to chase wheels back to the warning track, but he will come in on it now and make the catch for the third out. Second consecutive 1 2 3 inning for Woodrow. Bottom four, it remains 4 to 1. Ackman, Knox, and Gustafson to face Kaiser. Here is Herbert Hackman. He drove in a run on an RBI ground out his last time up. Two-seamer inside for ball one. One and know the count. Peter Lowe called a strike. One and one. Third ball away. Taken for a strike. Oh, and one and two the count now. 
Work ball up and in. Skied into left. You back on it. He's at the warning track at the wall. And he will make a catch at the base of the wall for the first out. Good play from Arms as that will bring up Archibald and Knox. Knox is 0 for 1 today. Grounded into a double play his last time up. Loud Kaiser to escape the first inning jam. Two seamer hit down the right field line. Just foul. 0 and 1. Lighter low and in. Hit on a softly to first. Sports with the field up the line. He'll take it to the bag himself. And that's two quick outs for Kaiser. Here is Gustafson. He singled in the center field his first time up back in the second. And he was promptly doubled off by Boo Lewis. Two seamer skied out the left center field. James back on it, but he's got to look up and watch it land in the second deck. Nice hit from Gustafson as he took that two seamer out of the park in left center field. His first of the season, and it's now a 4 2 game. Now to bring up Bubbles Garcia. He hit into a double play his last time up. Curveball at the knees for a strike, 0 1. Slider low and away for a ball, 1 and 1. Heater up and in, checked on it, called a strike, 1 and 2 the count. Fork ball below the knees, ball 2. New seamer up and away, popped up in foul territory on the left side as the Fordo's over. He'll make the catch on it in front of the batter's box and that, or on deck circle as it's the final out of the inning. Solo home run for Gustav Gustafson, cuts the lead to two, but Kaiser has no other damage. Top of the fifth, it's 4-2. Here is Stu Burko up for the third time today. He's 0 for 1 with a walk and a strikeout. Fastball outside for ball one from Woodrow. Curveball inside for ball two, just missed the zone, 2-0. Right. Change up at the knees for a strike, two and one. Right. Slider on the corner, two and two. Third, a fifth pitch driven down to left center field. Wheels is just going to look up and watch it land in the ball. First deck there as Stu Burko has his first home run of the season. Last year's home run leader for the league and also RBI leader. Finally notches one in game five. Five to your score as Burko extends the lead. Gets back that run from last station. inning. Got to bring up Sports Woody. Flew out to left field his last at bat. Also drove in two runs on a double in the first inning. Sports Wood set, and here's the first pitch from Woodrow. It is high from her. Two seamer missed, one and oh. Second pitch hangs in the middle of the zone as Sports Wood's going to hit that off the left field wall above the left fielder's head. He will be held to a single, though, as he has no speed whatsoever. Sports Wood now two for three. That will bring up Jeb Jumps. 0 for two today. I believe he has a strikeout and a ground out. Jeb looking to round here. Woodrow's first pitch taken high for ball one as that fastball just missed. Turns on the second pitch, rips it into right field. That will hang up, though, as Klopp makes the catch for the first out. Sportswood stuck at first here with one out as Billy LeBoink up. 0 for 2 today with two ground outs. Fastball high for ball one as the two-seamer missed from Woodrow. Second pitch hit hard on the ground to first. Knox dives and cuts it off as it flips the second one on to first. It's a double play. That's unfair as neither of them can run. Knox with a great defensive play ends the inning, but two hits and a home run, one of which is a home run, scores a run, it's 5-2. Bottom five, Lewis, Benicio, and Wheels. Here is Boo Lewis, the catcher's 0 for 1 today with a ground out. First pitch fastball, fouled off by Lewis, 0-1. Fourth ball up and in, lined in the left field, you back on it, makes the catch on the warning track for the first out. I bring up Benicio. He singled last time up and then stole a base. Benicio takes a fastball up and away for a strike. 0 well, 1. Slider low and in. Checked on it. 0 oh, 2. Two seamer low and away. Grounded softly to second. Jumps over to his left. He'll cut it off. Goes to first. Two quick outs here for Kaiser. And then I bring up Windy Wheels. He hit into a fielder's choices last time up. And then he promptly on first base. Stole second. Fastball at the knees for a strike, 0 and 1. Third ball low and in, ripped on the ground to first. Sports with the field. He'll take it to the bag himself, and that's a 1 2 3 inning for Kaiser. His first of the afternoon. Top six we go, it remains 5 2. Oliver, Pickle, and you do up against Woodrow for the third time. Woodrow about for reaching 70 pitches here in the sixth. This is pitch number 70 here to Oliver as the curveball is in the middle of the plate for a strike, 0 and 1. Second pitch curveball is not going to be taken this time as Apollo rips it back into center field, and that's a single, his second hit of the day. Also his second single. Here is Norton Pickle, 0 for 2 today, batting 188 on the year. Shortstop really needs to get things going here. Fastball inside for ball one is the missed. 
Second pitch curve, ball's ripped into left field. That will hang, though, as Garcia runs it down in the corner for the first out. Bad luck for Pickle there, which has generally been the case all year. Arms you up now. He's singled and struck out so far on the line score. Rookie looking to get his second hit of the day as Woodrow's first pitch fastball is at the letters for a strike, 0 1. Second pitch ripped into right field. That's going to be his second hit of the day as it drops in front of Klopp out there. Oliver will hold it second, though, as he cannot run. Bash cuts it off. Two hits for the hot corners and two runs on for Degafordo. And that'll bring in Def Wedums, the starter reliever, as he relieves Alicia Woodrow, the ace. Woodrow goes five and a third innings, is on the hook for the two runners, and currently has her ERA sitting at 3.86 when came in with it was zero. Whip goes up to 1.29. Chelsea Man just strike a few batters out. Wedems is composed. He has not given up an earned run so far this year, and his whip is currently at 0 0.33, meaning he has only given up about one hit in three innings. He also has five strikeouts, so the man was coming is coming in pretty hot. First pitch to Fordo is a fastball in the outside corner for a strike. He has a fastball, a slider, and a curveball. Next pitch from Wedems is a slider that reaches outside one and one. Turns on the fastball, lines it right to the shortstop bash, who makes the catch for the second out. Both runners hold. Now to bring up Geronimo James, two for three, two singles. He drove in a run and is in the third inning. Turns on the first pitch and hits it to center field. That will hang up, though. Back-to-back -back flyouts with wheels making the play in center. Two runners on for the hot corners are stranded, and Woodrow will not be charged them as Wedums comes in and slams the door. Klopp, Bash, and Hackman to face Kaiser in the sixth. Kaiser sitting at 63 pitches so far. His ERA has been cut down to four and a half. He's only given up the two earned runs. So far, a very good outing for him. Slider grounded softly to first by Klopp as sports with there to field. One out. Going to bring up Bobby Bash. He has a single and a fly out so far in his line score. Peter up and in, taking for a strike as Kaiser. As Bash checked on it, wasn't sure about it. Fork ball low and away, fouled off by Bash as he's late, 0-2. Slider low and in, swung through it by Bash. He's down on strikes, which he so commonly did for the hot corners last year. Two quick outs for Kaiser as Hackman's up over one with an RBI on a ground out, and a fly out his last time up. Who at the left, two seamer up and away, ripped the sportswood at first. He's there to make the catch, and that's a one, another 1-2-3 one, inning for Kaiser, his second in a row. Top seven, 5-2 your score. Burko sportswood and jumps against Wettums. Burko hit a solo shot his last time up. He's one for two with a home run and a walk up to on his line score. Wedems is a righty, so no power boost. Slider at the letters for a strike, going one. Fastball turned on and ripped into left field shallow. Incoming for it is Garcia, and he'll make the play. One out. I bring up Sportswood. He singled his last time up, making him two for three today. He drove in two runs on the double in the first. Slider on the end. That's a curveball on the inside, 0 and 1. Fastball grounded softly to the right as Vinicio's there to field. He'll go first with it, two outs. That'll bring up Jeff Jumps over three today, looking to come and put his first hit in the column. Fastball misses outside, ball one. Fastball missed inside, 2-0 the count. Curveball inside, ball three. Jumps is ahead in the count. Slider outside, he walked him on four as Jumps takes his base and reaches on for the first time today. Billy LeBoink up 0 for three, looking to do the same as Jumps to get on base. Keep the inning alive here with two outs. Slider at the in the middle part of the zone for a strike, 0 and 1. Fastball lined right to Knox at first, and he'll put it away as nah, LaPoint is 0 for 4. Bottom seven we go. It remains 5 2 with Knox, Gustafson, and Garcia do up. Kaiser at 69 pitches, 68 pitches actually, looking to go through the seventh inning here. Curveball ripped in the left. Uh, foul by Lewis. Or Knox, actually. I am very sorry, Mr. Knox, 0 and 1. Two-seamer on the inside for a strike, 0-2. Slider low and in. Strike three called as knocks down on strikes for the first time today. Kaiser gets another. Out of bring up Gustafson, two for two. He has solo shot his last time up. Drove in the second run of the day for the Moon Stars. Fastball low and away for a ball, 1-0. Fork ball low and in, taken for a strike as Gustafson checked, 1-1. One one. Slider up and away. Popped up in the foul territory as Oliver's over for it. He will make the catch for the second out. Now to bring up Garcia, 0 for 2. He's hitting 333 now on the year. You see him up and in, ripped the right over the leaping sportswood. It's the first hit of the day for him as it gets by LeBoink. 
Now he's going to second. LeBoyne's going to throw it in. It will be late. Garcia has a double his first hit today. He's one for three. Puts a runner in scoring position with two outs. Boo Lewis up. Catcher is 0 for 2 today. He's dropped his average down to 278. Looking to come through in the clutch here. Way out in front of that curveball. He was looking fastball, 0 and 1. Slider low and away from Kaiser's ground to the short. Pick of the field. He'll go to first. And that's going to retire the side as Kaiser strands another runner. Top eight we go. It remains 5 2. Wedhams to face Oliver, Pickle, and you. Here is Apollo Oliver. The catcher's 2 for 3 today. He's driven in a run on two singles. Wedhams delivers the first pitch fastball at the letters for a strike, 0 and 1. Turns on that second one, skies at the center, wheels in on it, and he will run it down. Good speed there from the center fielder. That's first out. We'll bring up Norton Pickle now. He's 0 for 3 today. He has a 176 average coming in. Hitless after having two hits his last time out. First pitch fastball at the letters, 0 and 1. Curve ball skied out the left center field. That will hang, though, as wheels will run it down in the gap for the second out. Pickle now 0 for 4, and that will bring up Arms U. 2 for 3 today with two singles. First pitch fastball to letters for a strike, going 1. Arms turns on the second pitch, skies at the center, and that's going right to wheels. He will make all three outs this inning. 1 2 3, inning for Wedhams in the eighth. Bottom eight we go, it remains 5 to 2, with Kaiser sitting at 77 pitches. With six hits given up as well as a walk, Vinicio wheels and clock do up. Here's Vinicio. He had a single his last time up. First pitch from Kaiser is going to be a curveball low and away to Vinicio as he takes it for a strike, not even bothering to offer at it. Next pitch is going to be a fastball up and in. Just misses out inside for ball one. Fork ball low and inside. Ripped by Vinicio up the middle. He's got two hits now. Two for three today. Pepe. Pepe is on to lead off the inning, and that's a speedster on first. And that's probably going to do it for Kaiser. Here he's at 80 pitches. I think it's time to take him out. Hayes pitched last game, so everyone else is rested. Harrison's the most rested. Who's due up? Wheels is right-handed, I believe. No, he's a lefty. Okay. Shit. Klopp is a righty, 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 lefty, lefty, righty, righty. Mostly righties. Okay. That makes me feel better. Harrison's our man. Let's go, Troy. Bring in the rookie. Troy Harrison, the righty, to come in. 450 ERA. He pitched two innings in his debut, and also in relief of Kaiser back in game number one. Managed to slam the door shut, though. Two-seamer up and away, taken for a ball. Windy wheels up ahead in the count. Fastball low and away, fouled off. Range up low and inside, pulled by wheels down the line, just foul. That would have been an easy double play for Sportswood. He's now behind in the count, one and two. Heater up and in, checked by wheels as he almost went around, two and two. Two seamer low and away, outside for ball three. Full count now. Runner's probably going to go. Change up low. Pulled foul. Full count still. Pick off the first. Almost got him. Lean in. But ECO manages to get back. Fastball low and away. Taken low. Wow. Hump did not want to give us that call. First and second now with Klopp due up. 0 for 2 with a walk today for the rookie as he looks to get his first hit on the line score today. Let me answer this real quick. All right, back to it. 14. First pitch to Klopp is a fastball, ripped up the middle, jumps, dives, and makes that catch. Good job there from the second year, second baseman, and that'll bring up Bobby Bash, former hot corner, looking to make him pay. Has a single back in the first inning. Uh, since then, he's had a strikeout and a lineout. Two seamer grounded to first. Sportswood's going to field and tap the bag for the second out as both runners will advance on the play. Hackman up with a chance to drive in some runs. He did so back in the first inning on an RBI ground out. And then he has flown out twice. First pitch is a change up to Hackman as he takes low and away for a strike. 0 and 1. Two seamer up and in. Ball one. Just missed. Change up low and away. Taken for ball two. Two and one the count now. Fastball swung through it by Hackman as he wanted it, but just couldn't reach it. Two and two. 
Three. Going away, taken strike three, and Hackman is down on strikes. And in a clutch situation, he fails to deliver. To the ninth we go, Harrison gets out of the jam. 5-2 is your score as a 4 -to. James and Burke will do up to face Wedhams in his fourth inning of work. He's pitched, I believe, uh, let's see, he pitched the seventh, the eighth, and got two outs on the sixth. So, yes, it is his fourth official inning. He has pitched two and two-thirds. Here is Digafordo, singled in the second inning, and then flown out twice. Fastball at the letters for a strike, going one. Slider, skied out the right center field. It's going to be a tough play, but Wheels has enough speed to run it down for the first out. Going to bring up Geronimo James, two for four today. He has two singles to his credit, as well as an RBI. Blown out his last two at bats. First pitch as a strike at the knees, 0-1. Wedhams has to sneeze here. We'll take a break. Hold up. Slider turned on, ripped right to Knox at first, though. Two outs. Got to bring up Burko. He has a home run to his credit. He in the first inning. One for three. Burko fly a curveball inside for ball one. Steve Wright. Fastball at the letter, knees for a strike, one and one. Rounded up the middle softly, cut off by Bash up the middle. He'll go to first with it, and Burko is retired for a one, two, three inning. Bottom nine, it remains five, two, with Knox, Gustafson, and Garcia do up to face Harrison. As a walk to his credit, but as in, I believe he's only given up the one hit. Change up below the knees for a ball as Knox ahead in the count early. Peter up and into the rookie, takes a strike. Change up, the ball, two below the knees. Harrison looking for the call, not getting it. Heater up and away, grounded to second. Jumps to his left, fields and fires, one out. That's going to bring up Gustafson, two for three. Single and a home run to his credit. He's driven in one of the lone runs. Heater on the inside corner for a strike, 0 and 1. Change up low and away for a strike, 0 and 2, quickly to count. Gustafson needs to protect here. Two-seamer up and away. He lines it softly to the left side. Pickle there at short. He makes the play. Two outs. Now Garcia is the last chance for the Moonstars. He doubled his last time up, but they failed to score him. Peter low and away. Ball one. Two-seamer up and in for a strike. One and one. Peter up and in. Ripped the hang, though, and you runs it down for the third out as Harrison has a one, two, three, ninth to slam the door shut on the Moon Stars as they suffer their first defeat of the season at the hands of our Hawk Worms, who improved to three and two. We got it, the bats out early against Woodrow, which is what you need to do against her. And we managed to hold the lead late into the game as our offense quickly dried up once Wedhams entered the game, which is surprising because Wedhams doesn't have that great of stats. We had two player, three players go hit this. Pickle LeBoinkin jumps. Jumps did manage to re-space on a walk, though. Uh, all our RBIs came at the top of the order, it looks like, minus Oliver, because his lone RBI was in the middle. Uh, Sportswood drove in two, Burko one, and James one as well. And Burko also hit his first home run of the season. Last season's home run leader now has one. On the other side, Jeffrey Klopp continues his dry spell of hitting. He does get on base via the walk, but he goes 0 for 3. Hackman also goes 0 for 3, uncharacteristic for the normally hot hitting second baseman. Gustafson hit a solo shot, no surprise there. And Benicio turns his to bad season around with two hits. Kaiser goes 7, hits, gives up 7 hits and a walk. Also strikes out 2, gave up only 2 runs. Harrison slammed the door shut in the final 2 innings, only giving up 1 walk. In Woodrow takes a loss, five and a third, ten hits, one walk, five earned runs. Wedham slammed the door though at three and two thirds, scoreless. Only had a walk on his. Sports with your player of the game as he drives in two runs. All right, that's a good victory. We needed that one. I really did not have us favored in that game because we were facing the Moon Stars were one of the last two unbeaten teams in the league. So that's a pretty big upset for us. Our offense just came out early, did its job, and our pitching was great. That's what we need. Those two things need to happen, otherwise we are going to lose. Let's take a look at these other games here. B-Wolves and Jacks. This is really not an interesting contest at all as the B-Wolves win. Jacks remain winless. Crocodons were in the playoffs last year, managed to get their second win of the season finally in game number six, crushing the Grapplers. Freebooters win six and three, stay atop the division at four and one. Blowfish beat the Herbosaurs 5-2, or finally are not shut out, but they've lost another game. Overdogs win 3-1. Moonstars bounce back to beat the Moose 
Very close contest between two power hitting clubs. B-Wolves win 2-0, shutting out the wide loads. Jacks go 3, get their first win, a 3-0 victory. Saw Teeth absolutely hammer the Sirloins, 15-4. Good for them to have a bounce back performance. And Herbisaurs win game number two on the season, 6-3 over the Sandcats, driving them to the bottom of the division. Buzzards remain unbeaten, winning in extras, 5-4 over the Platypi, and the Grapplers come back to beat the Nemesis 4-3 as they choke the lead, but manage to win and tie up the epic division against the Wide Loads. So looking at the playoff teams from last year, the Moose are not looking too good. They went to the conference, they went to the finals of the whole thing, and they lost in three. Uh, they're currently sitting at two and four. We were eliminated in the first round by the goddamn Wild Pigs. I hate those guys. They're sitting at two and four. We're at three and two. Freebooters missed the playoffs last year, but they're leading the division at four and one. Moonstar is having an uncharacteristically hot start, sitting at five and one. They missed the playoffs last year. Uh, the other team to make it, I believe, was the Sandcats, and they are currently sitting at two and four. Last year's champion, the Wide Loads, are four and two. Lee at tied atop the division with the Grapplers, who they beat in the first round of the playoffs last year. And the other playoff team, the Crocodons, sit at 2-4 with the Buzzards at 6-0 thanks to their signing of Jackson McDonald, who I've looked, is leading the league in RBIs. Let's have a look at those league leaders real quick. Junior Young Jr. currently leads in batting average, but he is a backup, so I don't see why he's still in consideration for that. Spanky Wagner leads with home runs with four on the year. Jackson McDonald is tied there for four. He was the best free agent available last season. Jackson McDonald also leads in runs batted in with 12. Highest on base percentage is Spanky Wagner. Well, that's slugging, actually. I'm sorry. Highest on base is Junior Young Jr. Jeb Jumps is actually in fourth for on base and slugging combined. He's in fifth for slugging, and he looks like that is eighth in the on base percentage. Junior Young Jr. is your hit leader. Okay, so maybe he does play more than being a backup this year. Interesting. McDonald leads in extra base hits with eight, and Rip Dengers, again, leads the league in strikeouts. I don't know why that man still has a job. No wonder the uh, uh, moose let him go. <laughs> Jumps is tied for third, tied for fourth in runs scored on the year. Hayata leads the league in stolen bases with five, and Tools has the most caught stealing with three. Kaiser is tied for league leaders in wins with two. A lot of pitchers that are relievers still have no earned runs given up. Def Wedham should be the real leader in that. And leader in saves is K Frequent, Lil Bupton, and Lawrence Whipple. Wimple, whatever. I don't care. All right, game number six. We're taking on the Moose, a division matchup. We managed to sweep them last year, three games to nothing. Let's see if we can keep that trend going. We have not lost to them yet. Rookie Connor Frazier had a bad first outing, gave up a lot of runs, and got no offense support to speak of. So hopefully he can bounce back here. Keep that number two spot in the rotation. First, let's check out these. Any signings? I see the one at the top. I didn't read it. A whole bunch of cheap options in case the season goes bad for us. Kimmy Smoke is going to the wide loads. They're replacing Prince Prize. So they've brought in a... That's for a playoff push. Grosif loses some accuracy. Not surprising. And Oliver gets six power. Nice for the rookie to get that. He needs that. He's more of a contact hitter. Kaisen Manning has a training opportunity. That is really dumb, and I'm not going to choose that one. Have a look. What kind of money do we have here? Uh, that's a bad one for Presidente. We're not going for that one. We are not going to be taking this Manning option either. Ooh, I do like that one for Frazier. That would increase his junk. 5% chance to give K-Man. Is it worth it, though? His junk is his best rating. I think I'm going to pass on that one. Long toss for jumps. That would improve his arm, but he's a second baseman. Does he really throw that much? No. Improve Hayes' velocity. Hmm. These two are pretty cheap. I think we get both of these and see what happens. All right, let's start with Lars here. Improve his arm, because I'd like to have him throw out a base runner every once in a while. Gets only five. Okay. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Thank you. Woo! All right. Good job. And let's go to Amazo. Let's see what he gets. Improve that velocity, which he needs. Only plus three. God. Yes. Okay, you avoided it. Thank God. All right, two positive rolls for us. But we only get the minimal gains for it. Better luck next time, I suppose. Let's go. 
All right, who's not hitting well? Pickle. All right, Fordo, you've earned yourself a second consecutive start. You're going to shortstop. Your natural position. Lee's going to come in and play third. LeBoink's not hitting well. We're going to move arms to right. And we're going to put Buck back in at left. See if they agree with my choices. Uh, they do not. They have McClure actually starting at shortstop. I don't like that. Dig, you're starting. <laughs> All right, uh, put him down ninth. You can bat eighth. Lee can bat seventh. James, I want him at the leadoff spot. Burko number two. He's got oh, he's got power upgrade though. But Oliver at six. Jumps will be four. Swiner's gonna be three. Yeah, Sportswood will be two. Swiner's three. Jumps is four. Burko is five. Okay, I like it. Let's go. Frazier Jr. getting the ball today here in game number six on the season. Let's see if he can bounce back here. His ERA is currently sitting at 1575. Not great. And we'll have everybody available from the bullpen except Harrison. So that's good. Moves haven't really changed much. Still power hitting team, so no big news there. Got Gutters. Oh, they did sign Keg Gutterson to replace Rip Dingers. Wanted him last year, didn't get him. Stallion Johnson's getting the start and left. Other than that, no other new acquisitions or substitutions. Just a whole bunch of shuffling around with pieces that you have. Connor Frazier Jr. faces the power lineup. Gutterson to lead off here as the hot corners return home. Oh, he wears Converse's. Nice. Gutterson, of course, batting 453 on the year. Already has three home runs, so let's be careful. Heater for the knees for a strike, 0 and 1. Frazier, of course, in his rookie year, was signed in the offseason to replace ace Yolanda Cooper, allowing Kaiser to take up the role of ace. Second and third pitch changeups hit up the middle for a base hit as James will get it in. Gutterson on the leadoff. Not surprising, he's done that all year so far. As Nacho Crisp up next, also has two home runs, six RBIs, and he's batting 333. First pitch curve ball from Crisp is hit to the left side as Affordo cannot hang on to it. It's going to be an infield single. First two runners on. This is turning into the last outing already for Frazier Jr. Let's see if he can get out of the jam this time as Hieronymus Jackson's due up, hitting 391. Only one home run for him so far, but I'm sure those numbers will catch up. Slider low and away, hit the first. Sportswood fields on a hop, goes to second one, on to first. Frazier to cover the bag, and that's two outs. Gutterson to third. So Jackson's retired on the double play. That'll bring up Perry Quaker, 292 average, two home runs, and two RBIs. Be careful with him. He has gone yard against us in two of the three games last season as first pitch fastballs outside for ball one. Slider inside, ripped to the left, off of Lee's glove. That's going to get by. A Fordo, it's a base hit, and the run scores. One nothing, Moose. Now batting the second bring up Tim, rookie signed last season, now in his first full year. Batting 292 with two homers and six RBIs. So a lot of multiple home runs for a lot of these guys. I believe so far Jackson is the only one with less than two. But everyone so far has at least one as Frazier falls behind 2-0. and oh. Pitch gets by Oliver, but he recovers quickly, and the runner retreats. 2-0 count now. Fork ball low and away. First strike. 2-1 and one the count as Frazier's going to bring a change up into the zone. That's ripped foul. 2-2. Two and two. Looking to retire Gangnam here. Heater high. Checked on him. He almost went. Full count. Pork ball low and inside, grounded to second. Jumps there to field, he goes to first with it, and that'll retire the side. Frazier gives up three hits, has one run score, but thanks to a double play ball, it really limited the damage. Top of our order to face Joffrey Rockman. We faced him one time last season, and we did defeat him in that start, thanks to a clutch fifth inning comeback that gave us the lead late. Rockman has a 7.36 ERA this year. When he faced his last season, he had a sub three. For second pitch, it's called a strike, one and one. Another fastball up, one and two. James hits the fourth pitch, skied in the left center field, shallow, tough play. Not in time, Johnson cannot get to it. It's a single for James. And that starts the inning off right for the hot corners. Leadoff man on as Dirk Sportswood's up. He had two hits in his last game. It's now hitting over 200, thank God. He went hitless in his first two games. Pickoff throw, not in time. 
Here we go. Ah, damn it. Shit. Well, that's upsetting. Oh, thank you, Christy, for the follow. That's a fastball inside for strike one. Ah, oh, I got it again? Really? Oh, two. Sportswood drives that deep to right center field, and that will be run down, though, as fast as they are to make the catch. Ironic, as she actually does run pretty well. He's pretty right on. Here is Buck Swiner. Bat 176 had a game off to fix some mojo issues. He takes a changeup away for ball one. Swiner rips that to dead center, but that's going to hang, though, and an easy play for Jackson. Retires the side. One hit for the Hawkmores is he raced on the pickoff, and that will go to the second, 1-0. So Johnson, Bobbin, and Nixon do up. Here is left fielder Stallion John, who's a bench player in year one, now getting the start in left field, hitting 313 on the season. First batter we've seen that does not have a home run yet. First pitch is a fork ball away for ball one. Heater coming up high and tight to Johnson. He takes it for a strike, 1-1 one, one the count. Slider inside, lined out the left. That's going to get down for a base hit. Good placement from Johnson as he gets on to lead off the inning. Back-to-back -back innings where the Moose have the leadoff rub batter on. It's going to bring up Fred Bobbitt. He's hitting 214, DHing the day. He was a DH last season as well. Looking to bounce back here. First pitch outside, and the runner goes. Throw by Oliver, not in time. Stolen base for Stallion Johnson, which is what he's known for. Runner in scoring position now, 1-0. Way out in front of that fork ball. Bobbitt wanted to deposit that in the seat, so that's not going to work. Change up low and in, rip foul. One and two the count now. Frazier delivers a slider away. Grounded up the middle. Cut off by Frazier. Looks the runner back. Goes to first. One out. Good play there in athleticism with Frazier Jr. It's going to bring up Pedro Nixon, the general catcher for the Moose. Getting the start today behind the plate. Throw low. I threw it to second. Damn it. That's another stolen base for Johnson as his mojo's up. Another run 90 feet away as Nixon looks to come through. Second pitch changeup is low, one and one. Slider inside, ripped into left center field. James going over in the gap. He's going to dive, and it's not in time as it bounces in front of him. Though he does manage to keep it from going past him, so I'll take that. It's an RBI single for Nixon, 2 nothing loose. Here is Irene Fast hitting 346 on the year, so she's only recently turned into a little down slump. See if she can keep her the inning going. First pitch sky to the right field as Yu's coming in on it. He's calling off the infielder. And Arms will put it away for the second out. Yes, his first name is Arms. I don't know why. It was randomly generated. I'm not changing it. <laughs> Here's Gutterson, one for one today. He's singled back in the first. Already with his second at bat of the game in the second. Frazier's curveball taken for a strike, 0-1. Fastball low and away, ripped up the middle, diving his jumps. It's past him, two hits today for Gutterson. Runner looks to go to third, but the good throw from James will hold him at second. Now batting the shortstop, Nacho Crisps. I'll bring up Nacho Crisps. He also singled his first time up. Looking to come through with another hit and maybe drive in a run, although Nixon does not run well, so this is going to have to be in the gap. Slider away, ripped up the middle. That's a base hit. That's not in the gap. He's not going to score on this throw. He will hold it third as the bases are now loaded and Frazier's not looking too hot. He's already given up seven hits and it's only the second inning. Here's Jackson looking to come through. He hit it to a double play his first time up as the changeup's outside for ball one. Curve ball low, taken for a strike, one and one. Good pitch there from Frazier. Fork ball up, skied in the right center field. James going over for it in the gap at the warning track. Leaps and he missed the ball. That's off the wall. That's going to be a three-run double. Jackson drives in three, it's already 5 nothing. Well, this is turning into another shit show, folks, as Perry Quaker's up, singled in a run back in the first inning. First pitch taken for a strike, going one. Third ball low and in, rip foul, 0 and 2. Change up away, that's gone. Yup, that's a home run. Quaker goes yard again. Third of the season for him as it's now 7 to nothing. Moose really poured it on early here. I don't have a long reliever in my bullpen. Now batting, uh, baseman, that's gonna 19. bring up Tyree Gangnam. Rookie is hitting 280 on the year. He's retired in the first. Ripped in the right center, over jumps, and that's another base hit. As Frazier is just turning into a shell. Now batting, uh, Stallion Johnson up one for one today. First pitch fork ball is, I believe they batted around now, actually. I think he let off. 
change up, ripped up the middle. That's another base hit, two for two day for Johnson as the runner is going to hold it second. James gets it in. Now, At what point do I pull him? Probably when he gives up 10 runs. Bobby. That's going to bring up Fred Bobbitt. He grounded out earlier in the inning, hitting 200 on the year. Fastball grounded to third. Lee there. She's going to go to first, and that's the third out finally. Ah. <sighs> Frazier gives up six runs and a whole bunch of hits. I lost count of how many there were. Seven nothing Moose here early as Rockman now has a lead to work with and only sitting on nine pitches after one inning. Four, five, and six to one. Ah, timeout. Oh, I need to reconnoiter my head here. All right. All right, back in action. Here we go. Let's see if Jumps can start the inning right today. Fastball outside for ball number one. Behind on that one. I think I chased it too. One and one. Inside ball two from Rockman. Fourth pitch popped up behind the plate. That's going to be an easy play for Nixon. Oh, it's off the fence, thank God. Still two and two. Fifth pitch ripped down the right field line. That's going to drop in front of Fast and get all the way into the corner as she finally tracks down. Jumps on his way to second. Throw in is going to be late. That's a leadoff double for Jumps. In the second inning, we have the leadoff man on. Hopefully, we don't get picked off this time. Stu Burko up is the power versus lefty active since he's facing Rockman, who is a lefty. Fastball outside for strike one. I thought that was outside. That one's ripped to deep right field, and that is not going to come back, folks. That might be over the wall, and it is as Fast just leaps and misses it. Just out of reach, maybe grow a couple inches, kid. That's a two-run homer for Stu Burko, and the hot corners cut the deficit to five. Second of the game, second second of the season, second game in a row that Burko has gone yard. That's Apollo Oliver up now, three hits in the last game, hitting now over 417 on the young season. Rookie catcher takes a fastball inside for ball one as Rockman's rattled. Second pitch line down the right field line. Diving is Quaker. He's having a good show so far. Two hits, one of which is a home run, three RBIs. Or four RBIs, actually, and he's made a dying defensive play. That's awesome. Here's Trisha Lee, third baseman, formerly of the Crocodons, recently signed in game three. Uh, it's quickly behind 0 and 2. And she's out in front of the changeup. God damn it. Another strikeout for Lee, and that's two outs. Here's Arms U up now, batting 500 on the season, and two for four in his, in his league debut. Takes a changeup inside. Second pitch hit down the right field line off a of Quaker's glove. This time that's an infield hit as you reaches with two outs. Thank God. Well, here is Digafordo in his second season in the league as he went one for four in his outing last game. Nine hitter takes the first pitch down the right field line. It will hang up though as Fast runs it down. Hot corners do manage to get three hits, push across two runs on the bomb by Burko, but they got a lot of work to do if they want to get back in this. Nixon, Fast, and Gutterson up against Frazier. Am I going to let Frazier go? Probably. He's only at 37 pitches. Change up outside for a strike, 0 and 1. Should I? Probably not. Fastball low, 1 and 1. This is going to destroy his confidence. Just fork ball up, 2 and 1. And if that's the case, fuck it. I'll bring in a cheaper pitcher. Change up outside, called a strike, 2 and 2. Fastball up. Lined in the left center field. James tracking it now. He'll go to the warning track. Makes the catch. One out. Here's Irene Fast. 0 for 1 today. Flew out her first time up, I believe. Fastball up. Popped up behind the plate. Oliver's going to track it, and it's going to reach out of the play. Darn. That should have been an easy second out. Cork ball low and away. Ripped on the ground the jumps. He'll make the play at first, and that's two outs. Good fielding from Jeb. Uncharacteristic of him. Here's Gutterson. Two for two. Two singles back up the middle. First pitch changeup, taken for a strike. He checked it, though. He was thinking about offering, but decided better. Don't know why. Slider up for ball one from Frazier Jr. Frazier delivers the third pitch. Diving his jumps. It's past him, and now Gutterson's three for three. Let's see if he can rebound here and get out of this inning. Now batting the shortstop. That's your crisp up. He's also singled twice so far today. Let's see if he gets on again. Change up, taken for a strike. Going one. Again, another check on it. They don't want to go for it. Curve ball low and away, grounded up the middle, and guess what? He's three for three with three singles now. Top two guys giving Frazier fits today. 
Covering up Jackson here, one for two. He has a double and three RBIs already. Man is killing it today. Fastball up for a strike, 0 and 1. Drove in all three of them on that double last time up. Slider ripped up the middle, diving his jumps. It's past him for a base hit. James comes up throwing as Gutterson's going to try and score. Still throw in. Got him at the plate. Ha <laughs> ha, got you, Gutterson. I know you can't run. James with the outfield assist gets Frazier's butt out of another jam. Top of the order, due up for the hot corners in the third. There's Geronimo James coming off his great defensive play. Let's see if he translates that into his second hit of the afternoon. Rockman's ERA currently sitting at 7-9-4. Fastball hit on the ground to third. Gutterson's going to repay the favor and make a play. One out. Got to bring up Sportswood. He's 0 for 1 today with a, what was it, a fly out, I think. Fastball ripped up the middle. That's a base hit for Sportswood. Cut off by Jackson, will hold him to a single. Had it gotten by him, I'm going two. Sportswood, however, does not run very well. Here's Buck Swiner, flew out the center field his last time up. Fastball up for a strike, 0 and 1. Second pitch fastball fouled off by Swiner, out of play, 0 and 2. Looking to stay alive now, here's the delivery from Rockman. Change up, pulled foul, he was out in front. Pulled me too. And I'm behind on that fastball. Swiner down on strikes for the second out. He's 0 for 2, and that'll bring up Jumps. He doubled his first time up in the second. Jumps drives that dead center field. Going back onto this Jackson at the warning track. At the wall. Off the wall. Sportswood's going to try and score, and he will as Chris throws the third. A second double of the game for Jumps. This time, he gets the RBI. Sportswood scores. It's now 7-3. Hot corners cutting the deficit. Here's Burko. Fastball up for ball one. Rockman's got to pitch him carefully. Or he could just give him a fastball up as that's hit back up the middle. Jumps rounds third. He's going to try and score. Cut off by Chris. Throw in. Not a time. Third RBI of the game from Burko. He's two for two. Seven four the score as the hot corners are coming back. Here is Apollo. Over takes a slider inside for ball one. Turns on the fastball. Hits it up the middle. Diving is Chris. It's freaking robbed me of a hit. Two more runs come across though for the hot corners as they push across three more hits. It's a three run game now in the fourth. Quaker up, two for two with a home run and a single to his credit. Three RBIs as well. Fastball up, rip to right center, over jumps all the way to the wall as Yu's got to track it down in the right center corner. Quaker back and he might think three on this. He will not though and he is now a triple shy of the cycle and it's only the fourth inning. What in the utter hell is going on? <laughs> Here is Gangnam. He singled his last time up. One for two today. RBI man activates for him with a runner in scoring position. Takes a change up low for ball one. Slider low and away. Ball two. Two and oh the count now. Frazier's third pitch. Taking ball three low. Three and oh. Fork ball up. Taking for a strike. Three one the count now. Curve ball up and in. Taking for strike two. Full count. Frazier really needs his punch out. Fouled off. Gangnam stays alive. Change up inside. Rip down the left field line. Pulled foul, though. They are still battling here. That curveball ripped down right off of Sportswood's glove. That's going to be a base hit. Good effort there from the first baseman. He's just not a great fielder. Good throw in from you. We'll hold the runner at third as runners are at the corners. I think we're done here. Frazier's coming out. We're, right now, we're down by three. We're not out of it yet. Let's do up for them. Let's have a look. Johnson's a lefty. Lefty. Switch. Righty. Righty. Lefty. Righty. Righty. So they're even either way. Okay. Harrison's not going to pitch today. So who do we go? We go Brosif or Manning. Either's a lefty. I say let's go Brosif to keep it close. But if I do that, I'm not going to have him late. Decisions, decisions. Uh, let's risk it. Manning. We're going to go with the rookie, Kyson Manning. The lefty coming out of the pen. Soft thrower here. Peter ripped to left center field. That's Swiner's not going to get there. That's going to be a base hit. First run's already on his way in. Second run's going to hold it third, though. It's an RBI double there. 
The Johnson, his third hit of the day, and it's now eight to four. That's gonna go to Frazier. Curveball on the outside for a strike, going one. Fastball low and away, grounded foul, 0 2. Change up high and in, that's ripped to right. And sliding is you, it's gonna get down though. That's another hit, 9 4. That's also gonna be charged to Frazier, so he's given up nine earned runs on the day. The other two are Manning's responsibility. Peter low and away, ripped to right field, that's gonna be foul. Oh, one. Nixon looking to keep it going here. Heater high, one and one. Range up middle down, taking first strike two. All right, good pitch there from Manning. Change up up, popped up. Manning behind the mound, he's calling for it. Rookie puts it away for the first out as runners hold. We'll bring up Irene Fast, 0 for two today. And he delivers fastball up for ball one. Third ball low and away. Grounded back to Manning. He's going to go to second with it. One. Runner to first. Got it to the double play. Manning's out of the jam. Good for him. He gave up the two inherited runners, unfortunately. Frazier will finish with nine charged hits. Nine charged runs, 16 charged hits. Nine for your score to the fourth. Ooh. Patricia Lee up. 0 for 1 today. Struck out her last time up. Batting 143 on the season. Takes a change up inside for ball one. Fastball hit up the middle, base hit for Lee. That's what we'd like to see from her. She's got a rebound here. If she wants to keep that job, I will very easily bring back Snack Biggs and sacrifice the offense. Here is Arms U, one for one today. Rookie hit a single his last time up. Change up on the outside, 0 and 1. Good pitch player from Rockman. Fastball at the knees, 0 and 2. Quickly ahead. Third pitch, grounded to short. Chris bobbles it. He can't go to second with it. He's only got to get the out at first. So he is not going to be charged with the error. Had he flood that a little bit more, we have a different story here. Lafordo up with a runner in scoring position now as the second year man looks to come through. Heater hit up the middle. They're playing in. Why are you disrespecting the man, bro? Oh, I hate that. Lafordo flies out to the ridiculously shallow Jackson. They must really know he doesn't hit. Two outs now, James has to come through now. First pitch, pulled foul, way out in front of the changeup. It was perfect for a base hit. Taken inside, ball one, that changeup missed. Third pitch, skied out the left field. That's gonna be an easy play for Johnson. He runs it down, third out. Top five we go, 9-4 your score. Gutter, top of the order to face Manning. Gutterson, three for three. Oh boy, let's see if we can get him out. Change up at the knees for a strike, going one. Curveball low and away, taken for also for a strike, going two. Now tough out, activates, heater away. Ball one as Oliver can't handle it. Curveball up and in, popped up on the infield. Jumps, please catch it. Thank you, we finally put Gutterson away. Thank Christ, now can we do it to Nacho? Three for three, also with three singles. Peter up and in, taking for a strike, going one. Good pitch there from Manning. Change up, blown away, grounded to third. Come on, Lee, make the play. Thank God, we finally got both of them out. Two quick outs here for Manning in the fifth. He's gonna bring up Jackson, two for three. Double and a single, his last two times up. Peter back to Manning, who reflexes, gets the ball. One, two, three inning for Kyson as he gets through the fifth unscathed. Bottom five, nine, four, your score. Sports with Swiner and jumps to up against Rockman, who's only on 44 pitches here in the fifth, so he's reasonably low pitch count, just not pitching very well. Change up low for ball one. Moose had a decent bullpen. Nothing great, though, as the second pitch is lined foul. 1-1. One one. We got all our runs off the bullpen last game. Two sad fastball got inside. One and two. All right. Calm down. Calm down. All right, let's go. Come on, Dirk. Got to get on. There we go, that's what we gotta do, baby. Get by or no. All right, another single for Sports. Woody's two for three. He's gonna bring up Buck Swiner. Struck out his last time up, currently over two. Fly out in the first inning as well. Take those goddamn shades off, Buck. Maybe you'd hit better. Fastball up, taken for a ball, one and oh. Ah, behind on the fastball, one and one. Ah, you ain't gonna get it by me this time, but that's gonna hang. Ah. Curse you, Stallion, in your great speed. One out. Gonna bring up 
Jeff Jet jumps. He has two doubles to his credit and an RBI. Let's see if he can do it again. Heater high, ball one. Second pitch ripped right to short. It's at Chris though. Two outs. That's going to bring up Burko, two for two. Home run in the single, three RBIs. Heater up, ball one. Second pitch ripped foul. That changeup was going to be crushed. One and one. I chased that one. One and two. Oh, I almost did it. Two, two. Slider ripped to the right side. Diving is Gangnam to cut it off. He's got to go to first with it, and he will. That's going to end the inning. One hit for the Hot Corners, but we can't do anything with it. Top six, 9-4. Manning facing Quaker, who is 3-for-3 three three today. Looking for a triple to complete the cycle. Strike at the letters on the heater, 0-1. Heater up and in, taking strike two. Quaker down behind in the count now. Change up, up. Swung through it. That was a curveball, my bad. Quaker finally retired as well, one out. Here's Gangnam, two quick. He had two singles his last two times up. He also grounded out, takes a change up on the outside for a ball. Or, sorry, is that a strike? That is a strike, my bad. Curve ball low and in, ripped up the middle, and Gangnam's got his third consecutive hit, and that's gonna get by James all the way to the wall. Throw in from James, not in time. Double for Gangnam in the second of the afternoon. He's now three for four. Stallion Johnson comes in three for three. RBI, double, two singles to his credit. Looking to keep his hot hitting going. Heater up and away, strike, going one. Change up down and away, taken for strike two. 0-2 oh, the count now. Curve ball up and in. Just inside, ball one. Good take there from Johnson. I don't know how he took it. Fastball low and in, driven out to left center. Swiner in on it, makes the catch for the second out as Johnson has finally retired. Two outs now, runner at second, and here's Fred Bobbitt. One for three with a single and an RBI. Peter up and away from Manning, taken for a strike, going one. Peter down and away, checked and taken for strike two. Change up low and in, checked, ball one. Bobbitt wanted it, but he decided better at the last second. Third ball low and away, just low, two and two. That was in the dirt, good pitch from Manning. Making a lot of good pitches. I'm impressed with the rookie so far. Heater checked again. Full count. Third ball low. Driven to first. Diving to Sportswood. He knocks it down. Runners got a hold of third. Good play from Sportswood to keep it from being extra bases. Runners at the corners now as Nixon is up. Single and an RBI to his credit. One for three on the line score. Manning looking to get out of trouble again. Change up on the inside. Taken for ball one. Third ball low and away. Taken for strike one. Nixon was taking all the way. He didn't even think to offer at it. Change up low and away. Taken for strike two. Nixon again, not offering. He's looking for it. I know what he wants. I think he wants the fastball. We're not going to give it to him. Curveball low and in. He was looking at that one now. Two and two. He saw it coming. All right, we got to give him the heat. Got to give him the heat. Got to get it by him. Come on, Manning. Popped up down the right side. You on it at the warning track. He'll make the catch for the third out, and Manning tight ropes out of danger again. Bottom six, and remains 9-4 as the Moose eclipse 20 hits. Yeah. Not a good outing for Whips, or ERA if you're Frazier Jr. Manning, on the other hand, has given up an earned run. He's done after, I think, three innings of relief, and that'll bring up Apollo Oliver. Rookie catcher 0 for 2 today, looking to turn things around. First pitch driven out to right center field. That's going to be easy for fast to run under, though, as that's the first out. All three of their outfitters are generally actually pretty fast, so you got to hit it like liners. Otherwise, they're going to run under it all day. Trisha Lee singled her last time up, now hitting 250 on the year. Peter at the letters for a strike, going one. That's way inside. That changeup was not even close. Turns on that changeup, rips it to right. Liner's going to be slid under and fast missed it. Oh, Lee's off to the races. Here we go. Da 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 da. Lee's rounding second on her way to third. Crisp's cut off throw, not in time. It's a one out triple for Lee. That fielding miscue might cost them another run. It's up to Arms U to deliver. Rookie's set. Behind on that slider, I should have offered sooner. One one. Turns on the fastball, rips it to short though. It's right at Crisp. God damn it. It's the second inning that's happened. Two outs now, it's up to Dig. Oh boy, come on, Dig. Give me one. Not playing shallow today as the first pitch changeup's taken at the knees. 
That fastball missed, one and one. Hit out the left. Back on it is Johnson at the warning track. He'll make the catch. <sighs> Another runner wasted in scoring position. Top seven we go. Manning will not be coming out for this inning. We are taking him out. Good inning, good effort from him actually. 37 pitches, got his ERA down to 1.5. Good outing from the rookie, I like it. Uh, we're still down by five now, so we're not really in it. Uh, we're gonna go with Hayes, let's bring in the righty. Second year reliever. Curve ball hit up the middle, diving is a Fordo to cut it off. He's gotta go to first with it. Fast beats it out for the infield hit. Hence why her last name is Fast. Here's Gutterson, three for four today, three singles. Finally retired on a pop-up, his last at bat. Peter low and away, taken for a strike, going one. Slider down, taken for strike two. Why are you running? You're up by five, you little shit. Fast steals second. Change up, up and in. Taken for strike three, throw down, not in time. Or it's strike two? Strike two, okay. Ugh, I hate that, she has two stolen bases now. Curveball fouled off. One and two still the count as Gutterson stays alive. Hazel gives him a fastball that's grounded up the middle. Jumps with field and go to first with it. Run will score on the play as two stolen bases nets the moose another run. Ten to four your score. I don't know why they're doing that. They're already up five. That's in bad taste. Fastball low and away to Chris taken for strike one. We're doing it just to be shits. Curve ball popped up in foul territory. Oliver over in front of the hot corners dugout on the first base. Can't get it, it's out of play, 0-2. Yeah, they don't let you scale the fence there, which is weird. Slider low, 1-2. I guess it's not like a solid object. I don't know why, but that's what they do. Change up, up and away, rip to left. That's gonna be a base hit. Fourth hit of the day for Nacho, four for five. Just keep the hits coming. There's Hieronymus Jackson now, two for four. Double and a single, three RBIs. Curve ball taken for a strike, going one. Heater up, ball one, one and two. Slider inside, taken for ball two, two and one. Change up low, fouled off, two and two. Heater up, ball three, full count. Hayes delivers a curve ball, swung through it, strike three. Jackson down on strikes for the second out of the inning. That's gonna bring up Perry Quaker, three for four. Struck out his last time up. Still looking for that triple to hit for the cycle. Heater up and away, first strike. Slider up, popped up, out of play, 0-2. Oh, gonna give it in the dirt here, see if he chases. Change up low, does not, one and two. Curve ball up and in, popped into left center field. Swiner in on it. Buck puts it away for the third out. Hayes gives up a run on two hits. 10 to four, your score. It's gonna bring up James, fourth time up today. As Quaker is leaving, they're bringing in Tarzan Woodburn, the newly acquired backup first baseman. Guess they're bringing him in to actually get some playing time and because he's a better fielder. I mean, they're up six, so I don't blame him. First pitch up for a strike, 0 and one. Fastball inside, one and one. That's ripped to left, diving again. God damn him and his afro. That's the third freaking inning in a row he's robbed me of a hit. Here's Dirk Sportswood up now. First pitch hit up the middle. Thank you for not robbing that one. That's a base hit. Sportswood on with one out as Swiner's up now, 0 for 3. Buck looking to actually do something here. Fastball outside for ball one. Rockman misses. Second pitch, ripped hard on the ground to short. Chris dives and cuts it off again, but he can't get the double play, thank God. Two outs. This man is a freaking, ugh. I can't stand him in that afro. Two outs, jumps up. Ball outside, one and oh. Turned on, hit it softly the middle, jump. Chris does not have to dive for that, thankfully, and he goes to first for the third out. Top eight we go, it remains 10 to four as the hot corner is basically just trying to waste away to the end of the game here. Hayes delivers a first pitch curveball to Gangnam. Swings through it for strike one. Missed that curveball by a mile. Peter ripped the left. Swiner back on it a bit. Catches the liner for the first out. Gonna bring up Johnson, three for four today. Double and two singles. Change up, taken low, ball one. Okay, ump, let's see what you mean. Peter up, popped up behind the plate. Oliver there, doesn't have to move very far. Makes the catch at the back of the circle for the second out. And that's going to bring up Fred Bobbitt. Two for four, two singles to the DH. Power versus righty active as the right-hander was finally put in the game. 
Fastball up for ball one, one and oh. Curve ball low and in, rip to the left side. Diving is afforded to cut it off. He's got to get up and fire, and he got him at first. Good play from the sophomore. Bottom eight we go, it's 10-4. Burko, Oliver, and Lee do up against Rockman in the eighth. Rockman finally leaves the game as Charlie Best will come in. Quote, why is he his last name Best? He's the best bullpen pitcher they got. 386 ERA, 157 whip, solid numbers. Specialist trait also active against any left-handed batters. Burko up first, rips that into right field. That's a liner that will drop in front of fast for a base hit. Burko has his third hit of the day. Veteran coming through solidly for us. Oliver up, 0 for 3 today, looking to turn things around. Just get on base, Apollo. Takes that fastball up, 1 and 0. Fastball up, 2 and 0. Now ahead. Ball three, okay, Best is losing it for some reason. Change up at the letters, first strike, 3-1. That's ripped into left center field, that's gonna hang though. Johnson there, one out. Again, get the liners down, otherwise they will run it down every time. Here's Trisha Lee, two for three, tripled her last time up. Pass ball outside for ball. That's actually a strike on the outside corner. There's the specialist active. Minus 10 power, minus 15 contact to the, well, any lefties he faces. That's line center. Will it hang? Of course it will. Jackson makes the catch. Two outs. Ugh. Y'all are annoying me. Let's go, arms. Rookie is one for three today with a single to his credit. Pass ball on the inside for a strike. Going one. Strike on this two-seamer, 0-2. Oh two. Curveball up, misses, 1-2. and two. Change up, pulled foul, way out in front. Damn it. Oh, broke his bat over the leaping Woodburn. <laughs> foul ball. <laughs> ah, it's going to crisp again. Hot ah, corners get a hit, nothing else. Top nine. 10-4, your score. Here's Nixon, one for four today. Switch hitter went out bat from the left side as Hayes is pitching. Fastball at the knees for a strike, going one. Curve ball down, rip to the center. That's gonna get past the Fordo, all the way to the wall. James runs it down, he's gonna throw it in quickly and that will hold Nixon just a single because he knows how fast he is. That's gonna bring up Irene Fast, one for four today. And Nixon will be pinch run for by Anton Goodwood. Wow, they signed him in free agency too? Jesus, they want to win. Well, Goodwood can run, so that's that's bad. Please don't steal. You're up six runs. Don't be a dick. Curveball low and away, taken for ball one just outside. Slider up and in. Missed inside, 2-0. Oh. Hayes falling behind in the count here. Peter at the knees, 2-1. Change up, up and away, taken for a strike, 2-2. Two, two. Here we go. Let's see if Hayes can get this guy, gal out. Peter low, strike three. Hayes gets the K. All right, good job, Amazo. Now Gutterson on three for five. Three singles and an RBI. May the man not get another hit. Jared ball low, 0 and 1. Good pitch there from Hayes. Peter comes up and in with it. Inside for ball one. Change up low, two and one. It's off Oliver's glove. And Goodwood's going to get the second. Uh, well, he didn't need to steal. All I have to do is make a mistake. 2-1. Slider low and away. Grounded to second. Jumps will field. He'll go to first. Two outs. Runner advances to third on the play. 90 feet away is Goodwood as Chris was up. He had a single his last time up. He's four for five. No RBIs, but he scored a lot. Peter up. Taking first strike. Go one. Good pitch there from Hayes. Peter low and away. Hit the third right at Lee for the final out. Thank God. Hayes gives up a hit, but nothing comes of it. It's, it remains 10 to four. We need a rally. The four to up. Uh, all right. Am I really gonna let this man hit? Fuck no. Uh, Caleb, let's get the rookie in here. Here's Caleb McClure. Takes a heater at the letters for a strike, going one. Line to left field, off the third baseman's glove into the foul territory. McClure's gonna stay at first though, he does not run well. Gutterson couldn't hang on to that one, but good effort there from the 36-year-old uh, as James is up now, one for four with a single to his credit. There's the specialist coming in. As long as he doesn't throw outside, of course. Curve ball up for ball one. Line to the center field, that's gonna be a base hit. I told him not to throw outside. What did he do? Throw it outside. 
Two hits to lead off the inning for the Hot Corners. Having them business. He's going to bring up Sportswood. He singled his last time up. He's three for four today. Three singles. Change up at the letters for a strike. Going one. Checked it. Heater was high. One and one. Heater high again. Two and one the count now. Sportswood looking to come through. Ah, yes. A change up. Two, two. On the ground to short. Chris with the second one. On the first, it's a double play as we shoot ourselves in the foot again. Runner to third. Swiner up. 0 for 4 today. We ain't going to let him hit. Ah, uh, balls. Ah. Uh, Uh, if we manage to tie it and go to extras, I'll move you to left and put LeBoink in right. No. Lars, get in here. Lars he can't hit anyway, but please. why not? He's not here. tense. Strike there, 0-1. Soft liner to left center field. That will drop. Lars got a hit. Mother of Mary, he actually got a hit. Holy shit, 10-5 your score. Good job, Lars. Sorry for doubting you, buddy. Here's Jeb Jumps. Peter away. Oh, that's a changeup. I'm sorry. One and oh. Oh, he beamed him. Well, Best has lost his stuff. That's two on with two outs. And there's Burko up. Here comes Carla Tolbert, the righty. 450 ERA, 160 whip. Not a good outing for her so far this year. First pitch fast. Changeup on the inside. 0 and 1. Burko does lose his power versus lefty trait, though, as Tolbert's a righty. Slider fouled off. 0 and 2 the count as she's looking to put the game away. Change up, pulled foul. 0 and 2 the count. Burko staying alive. Fastball lined right to Woodburn at first, and that will end the game. Ah, well, that was a shit show. Ah, we do manage to get five runs. We got 15 hits, but we couldn't put them together. And then, of course, Connor Frazier Jr. just absolutely shits the bed. 10 runs score, 23 hits across three pitchers. They actually had every one of their starters get at least one hit. And for us, Swiner goes 0 for 4 again. Oliver goes 0 for 4. He's going to be on the bench next game anyway because he's tired. Afordo goes 0 for 3. He doesn't hit, so I expect him to go hitless. Frazier saddled with the loss in three innings of work with 16 hits, nine earned runs. Yes, you're reading that right. It's another rhubarb situation. Tyson Manning, three innings, four hits. No earned runs. Hayes, three innings, three hits, one earned run. Had either of them started, we'd probably have a different outcome. Rockman goes seven, 11 hits, four earned runs, gets the win. Not his best outing, but he gets a win. Charlie Best, one and two thirds, four hits, one earned run. Tolbert, got the last out. Quaker's your player of the game. He was a triple shy of the cycle, drove in three runs. Burko had a home run and two singles, three RBIs. And Stallion Johnson went three for five, double two singles, RBI, two stolen bases, and he scored once. Ah, oh, all right, now that that shellacking's over, we gotta play them two more times this season. Yay! Or actually, do we play them two more times? I gotta look. I think we do play them two more times. We do play them. Too. We play them one more time, actually, and it's not till the next to last game of the season. So thank God we don't have to see that offense for a while. We got two more games here against the Wild Pigs. Presidente and Smith do up. All right, let's see what we can do. Any, let's just sim to the end here. Overdogs come back against the Crocodons. Win seven to five. Moonstars beat the Freebooters again, three and one. Wild Pigs crush the Saw Teeth, 17-2. Yes, you're reading that right. Jacks and Buzzards. Buzzards finally suffer their first loss. Jacks win in extras 5-4. Grapplers beat the Heaters, 10-5. Sandcats beat the Blowfish, 4-3. Platypie beat the Weevils, 11-5. And the Sirloins beat the Herbosaurs, 18-6. And the last game, Overdogs beat the Crocodons, 2-1. Ah, we're still only a game behind, though, as the Freebooters lose again as well, so we are keeping pace with them. <sighs> All right, so we're going to be facing Jerry Rawner and then their ace. They lost West Yogurt in free agency, so the Pigs are not as good in the rotation as they were last year. We're going to have Presidente on the hill to face. <laughs> Pardon me. 
Ah, uh, Bay Paul is going to the heaters. The starter replaces Splash Cashmore, one of their bullpen pieces. Seymour Sox finally gets signed out of the free agent pool. He's going to the heaters, replacing Murky Nubs Wubbles. And Jackie Slam, released by the Sirloins for Lorenzo Praline. Ooh, all right. That's interesting development there. I would love to have Jackie Slam on our team. But she always asks for way too much money, so I doubt we get her. 22 bit. okay! Let's just back off there for a second there, Chief. Why do you think I have that kind of freaking money? <laughs> I'm going to keep Tremendo on this list. Might be able to replace LeBoink or Swiner. Swiner's not hitting well, so... Might be sooner rather than later. Alright, what kind of cho choices do we have here? Let's see. Trisha Lee. Okay, interesting. A little expensive for my taste, though. Manning, not going to get that one. That's a dumb one. Uh, Geronimo, that'd be a good one to get for him. That's power is his weak point in this game. It's gonna be 0% though, so we can stack up some funds here. Norton, does he need the arm upgrade? No, this is a dumb one. Uh, Caleb McClure, can he have his arm upgraded? Yes, he can, because he does play shortstop from time to time. It's a nice, easy one to get, nice and cheap, and it would free up a slot here. And Apollo Oliver, sign stealer. His contact's already great, and he's a catcher, he doesn't need to steal, so I'm not sacrificing his fielding for that, so that's a dumb one, I'm gonna pass. So, no, no. Keep that one in mind. So, that's a no, that's a no, and that's no. So, we're gonna get this one, this is nice and cheap, we can open up a slot here on the board. Get McClure's arm a little bit better, he gets plus six, that's gonna put him up to 37, and he does not get power versus lefties, which would've been nice. But hey, a little bit better for our young second baseman, so that's great. Alrighty, let's get into game number seven here. Nobody's slumping, which is surprising. Oliver's going to come out. Stagcleave's going to bat. We're going to put Pickle back at shortstop, give the Fordo a day off. Um, is everyone else hitting well? Swiner is not. Could put LeBoink in. We're going to do that. And we could give Buck another day off, but I'm going to let him play. We're going to give Arms a day off. If he does not get a hit by, like, the sixth or seventh inning and he's up for his third time, I will put Arms in to pinch hit. That sounds fair. All right, Sportswood's going to bat second. Then we're going to make... Actually, let's make Burko the two today. Feeling dangerous with him. Jumps is the four. Swiner drops down to the five slot because he's not hitting very well. Uh, Stagcleaf's going to bat number nine. We're going to put the boink at six. Trisha will bat seven. Uh, actually, yeah, she has a little bit better power. They have the same contact as Norton. Uh, Norton will bat eight, and Stagcleaf is your nine hitter. Okay, Presidente on the hill. Let's go. Presidente is, of course, in his first full season. He is classified as a rookie. He pitched in one game for us last year in the regular season. Got that win against the Moose. Gave up, I think, five or six runs in the outing, though, which was not his best. He then went in the playoffs and started that deciding game three against the Wild Pigs, who we're facing today. And we lost that matchup by a score of six to four. So, here we go. Oh, sorry, Tank. Didn't mean to step on you. Oh, they got Elvis Stanley. I forgot. They also have Randy Mann, who was on our team last year. Nance Tools, they signed from the Moon Stars. Mata, I he believe he's a rookie. Ralph Blue is from the uh, Herbicide. So the Wild Pigs have a really different looking lineup this year. So they improved the offense a lot, but they lost a bunch of pitching. They lost their ace, West Yogurt, um, to free agency. They also lost um, Hugs Lovell, who they released. The second baseman. Elvis oh, Stanley leading Stanley. off, formerly of the Blowfish. He's the shortstop, generally. Plays second base here for the Wild Pigs as Presidente's on the hill. Give it one earned run in his first outing. Drop the win. Heater low and away. Ball one. Presidente delivers a curveball that's hit up the middle. Jumps, dives, misses for. That's going to be a leadoff hit. Stanley on to start the game. 
Really got to stop letting the leadoff hitter get on. Snag Roper's up. The shortstop hitting 448 on the year. Holy balls. The dude is on fire. One homer and 10 RBIs. Good lord, mate. Two seamer inside for Presidente's taken for a strike. Owen won the count. Stanley at first is a threat to run. Slider low and away, taken for ball one. All right, I think he's going to go. Get him. All right, almost had him. One and one the count still. Cutter up and away for ball two, two and one. Peter up and in, ripped to right field. That's going to be a base hit. Two hits to start the game for the Wild Pigs. Have them in business here in the first. Presidente needs to come through with a stop. Randy Mann up now. Let's see what he can do. Mann's batting 263, playing the DH role for the Wild Pigs. He was on our roster for first three quarters of season one. We let him go to bring in Bush at Digman to play shortstop. He was not getting any playing time anyway. And now he's playing against us as a division rival as he ropes that into the left center gap. That's going to be a double for Mann as one run is in. Second run will hold it third on the play as Stanley scores 1 0. Spanky Wagnered up. Four home runs, 10 RBIs, 296 average so far. Great year for him. Hard ground to the third. Shortstop. Pickle cuts the runner off at third. Run's going to score on the play as Mann is in a rundown. Jumps and Lee. Lee to Pickle. Pickle chasing over to Presidente. Throw to the second baseman. Jumps. Jumps will run him down. That's the fifth rundown that the Hawk Corners have succeeded at so far this season. Nance Tools up now, 194 average for the second year player. Two homers though and three RBIs. First pitch hit hard on the ground, past the diving Sportswood for a base hit. Going to the cutoff man as that's the, I believe the fourth or fifth hit of the day so far for the Wild Pigs. I think everyone's gotten on base. Russ Mata up now, he's the rookie catcher signed in free agency this past year. Eater at the knees for a strike, going one. Replacing Frank Battery, who retired after his rookie season. Curveball ripped into right field. Another base hit as the Wild Pigs keep the train rolling. Base is loaded here in the first with one out. Ralph Blue played for the Herbisaurs in majority of year one. Released late in the season and uh, signs with the Wild Pigs in free agency here for year two. 360 average for him as he takes a curveball away for strike one. Slider low and away outside. Ball one that time. Low and in, taken for strike two. One and two, your count. Two seamer up and in. Inside for ball two. Two and one. Two and two. Cutter away. High, ball three. Full count now. Presidente does not want the walk here. Curveball ripped back at the middle. Another base hit. It's going to be a three. Nothing lead here for the Wild Pigs. Bases will remain loaded with one out. This is not looking good. Enrique Goyo up now. Left fielder loves the low pitches. He's batting 182, looking for his first RBI on the year. Eater on the outside for strike one. Cutter up and in, foul back 0-2. Third ball low, swung through it, strike three. Down for the first out, second out of the inning. And we got Man and Moon, the center fielder, batting a measly 154 with one RBI to his name. Eater up and away, ripped to left field, another base hit. That is the second RBI of the season as it's now 4-0 Wild Pigs, and they batted around in the first with eight, seven hits. Elvis Stanley up, one for one, single to start the inning. Already having a second at bat of the game here as the curveball is loaned away for straw ball one. Eater up and in, ripped out to center. James back on it at the warning track. He gets under it, and he'll make the catch in front of it for the third out. Wild Pigs mercifully only give up four runs in the first inning as seven hits come at the tally of Presidente. Jerry Rahner takes the hill for the Wild Pigs. He was on the saw teeth last season, released midway through the year. Geronimo James, Burko, and Dirk Sportswood up. Here is the center fielder, Geronimo James. 370 average on the year with three RBIs, no home runs. Not a power hitter here as the heater's taken for a strike at the knees. Heater up, one and one the count. Geronimo James is so much of a unlikely power hitter, he hit no home runs in year one. Right. Chase the slider inside, one and two. Curveball pulled foul as James is out in front of it. Lined up the middle, a base hit for James as it's over the diving Stanley's glove. Leadoff man on for the hot corners as they hope to duplicate the success the Wild Pigs had. Here is Stu Burko, 385 average, hit his second home run last game. Two games in a row he has a home run. Swung under the fastball. I don't know why I moved. 0-1. Oh, 
Curveball skied out the center. That's going to be an easy play for Moon as he's in on it. Makes the catch for the first out. Mata behind the plate doesn't have a very good arm. The Sportswood is up. First pitch outside from Rauner. Throw down, not in time. James has a stolen base. Runner at second now for Sportswood. Curveball ripped to the left. Past the diving third baseman in the left field. Goyo up with it. James will hold it third, though, as Roper cuts it off. Runners at the corners now. Got to bring up Jet Jumps. 455 average. Two homers and four RBIs for the young second baseman in his second season at 27 years old. Heater up for ball one. Heater away. 2-0 the count now from Rauner. Heater at the letters inside. 2-1. Heater up, misses this time, 3-1. and one. Rauner behind in the count. Curveball ripped right to short. Roper there to make the catch, though, and that's two outs. This is turning in the last game all over again. Buck Swiner up now, 143 average for the five hitter. Left fielder needs something to go his way. Heater up above the letters, 1-0 the count. Second pitch hit up the middle, a base hit. Swiner's going to get an RBI out of this. The Sportswood goes to second. James comes in to score. It's 4-1, and the Hot Corners start clawing their way back. Now Billy LeBoink up, 381 average, hitless in his last appearance. He had the last game off, looking to turn things around here in the middle part of the year. First pitch slides softly into the center field, drops in front of the sliding moon for a base hit as Sportswood's going to round third and score on the play. RBI single for LeBoink. 4-2 now. Trisha Lee up, runners first and second. Third baseman had two hits last game. Fastball, curveball outside, misses the zone, 1-0. Fastball ripped right to the second baseman, Stanley, and that will end the inning. Good contact there, but just poor placement. 4-2 your score after one inning as the Hot Corners get four hits and score two. Roper, Mann, and Wagner do up. Second of bats of the game for these guys as Roper already has a hit. Bats is second of the game and already the eighth given up by Presidente here early on. Lead off man on at first. Now batting. Got to bring up Randy Mann, one for one. Doubled in a run his last time up. Peter low and away, call the ball, 1-0. Oh. He's in the low and in, ripped into left field as it was a hit and run was on. Runner fielder was pulled away from his position. It would have been a double play otherwise. First and second now with nobody out for Wagner to 0-1 for one with a fly out, sacrifice fly. Actually, no, it's an RBI ground out. Change a curveball in the inside part of the zone for a strike. Peter away, ball one. Slider low and in, ripped up the middle, jumps, dives, and cuts it off, flips the second one. Runner will make it to first, though, on the fielder's choice as there's one out. Runners at the corners now for Nance Tools. Tools one for one today with a single to her credit. Cutter up an in tank for a strike, going one. Slider low and in, ball one. Peter low and away, taken for a strike, one and two the count. Her ball up and away, ball two, two and two the count. Receiver low and in, swung through it, strike three, tools down on strikes for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up Rossum for one, as a single to his credit, he's one for seven on the young season. He one for eight, heater up and in for strike one. Her ball away, ball one, one and one. Slider inside, one and two the count now. Cutter up and away, grounded soft in second, jumps fields and goes to first. That's the third out. Presidente strands the runners this time as he gives up two more hits. Bottom two we go, it remains four to two. Norton pickle up now, batting 167 on the year with two RBIs, no home runs for the sec shortstop. Curveball at the knees, called a strike, going one. Second pitch popped up on the infield. Roper makes the catch on the edge of the grass for the first out. Got to bring up Stagcleaf, batting 375 on the year with one RBI to his credit. He got that last game in a pinch hit roll. First pitch, ground, hit hard, pass both diving infielders into right field. Good hitting from Lars. Very uncharacteristic for the backup catcher as the German born player reaches base with one out. Now James up, led off the game with a single, then scored a run. Change up, up for a strike, going with one the count. Heater up and in, ball one. Inside. Heater up again, two and one. A little closer that time, but not quite in the zone. Skied in the center. Easy play here for Moon, as he's already calling it. Center fielder makes the catch for the second out. 
Thank you. And here is Stu Burkle, 0 for 1 today, hitting 370 on the season. Slider inside misses for ball one. Second pitch skied out the right center field. This should be an easy play for the right fielder, and Tools runs it down. No, one hit for the hot corners, but nothing comes of it. Top three, the 4-2 to two your score. Ralph Blue to face Presidente. He had a single and an RBI back in the first inning. Curve ball at the knees for a strike, going one. Peter low and away, taken check swing, strike two. 0-2 oh the count as Presidente delivers a cutter up and away. Chased it, strike three. Gets another strikeout, his third of the afternoon. Got to bring up Enrique Goyo, 0-1 oh with a strikeout. 167 average for the young, well, semi-old outfielder. Fastball on the outside for ball one. Two-seamer up and in, taken for a strike, one and one. Slider up and in, checked and taken for a strike, one, two the count. Presidente delivers a curveball up and away, popped into foul territory. Lee over behind the coaching box, makes the catch for the second out. That'll bring up Man and Moon. He had a single and an RBI back in the first inning, one for one today. Peter low and in, taking first strike, going one. Presidente really feeling it now, getting a little bit better. Curveball up and away, 0-2. Slider down, taking in the dirt for a ball, one and one and two the count. Two seamer up and in, taking for ball two, two and two. Better down the middle, fouled off. Just behind on that one. Two and two. Peter low and in. Swung through it, strike three, another strikeout for Presidente, his fourth of the day. Bottom three we go. It was a 1-2-3 inning for President Day. Let's see what Sportswood jumps and Swiner can do against Rawner here in the third. Sportswood do up, one for one with a single so far. First pitch ripped up the middle, base hit for Dirk as he gets the inning started right, continuing his hot hitting. Had a slow start in the first couple of games, but now has rebounded well in the middle of the season. Uh, Jeb jumps up, 0 for 1 today, looking to turn things around. Ball high. Change up above the zone, ball one, just missed. Fastball on the outside corner, one and one. Heater up at the letters, one and two the count now, jumps behind. Out in front of the changeup and he's down on strikes, 0 for two on the afternoon. Got to bring up Buck Swiner, single in a run back in the first inning, one for one today. Change up in the dirt, one and oh. Curve ball ripped in the right field. That's going to go right to Tools, though, and that's the second out. Sportswood stuck at first after the leadoff hit. That'll bring up Boink. One for one with a single and an RBI on the line scores. The 40-year-old looks to come through again. Chain curve ball ripped out to left field. That is hit high. It is far. It is gone over the leaping glove of Goyo. LeBoink hits it out. It's a two-run shot, and the game is tied. That 40-year-old can still hit. It's his second of the season. And it's his third RBI of the game. Lee up now, 0 for 1 today. Rawner has his ERA back over 10 now. Curveball ripped up the middle. Stanley cuts it off, and that's the third out. Still, two runs score on two hits, one of which being the home run, 4-4 four, four to the four. Stanley up now, 1 for 2 today. Had both his at-bats in the first inning, which is rare. Strike of the letters, 0-1 the count. Slider down. Right to Lee, one out. Now bring up Roper, two for two with two singles. Fastball down and in, ball one, one and oh. Two seamer low and away, Roper fouls that one away, one and one. Slider up, popped up behind the plate, out of play, one and two. Cutter up and away, swung through it, strike three. Presidente has strikeout number five. Got to bring up Randy Mann, two for two, double single and RBI for the former hot corner. Veteran takes one high on the curveball, 1-0. Oh. Peter low and in, grounded the second, jumps, cuts it off, he'll go to first, and that's a 1-2-3 inning for President Day. Back-to-back -back innings, he's done so. Bottom four we go, it remains 4-4. Four four. Pickle, Stagleaf, and James up against Rawner. Here is Norton Pickle, 0-1 for one today, had no, a measly 158 on the season. Very anemic, first pitch line softly to center. That will drop in front of Moon. Sometimes those dying ones actually give you uh, some positive results. Pickle reaches first on the play, and he leads off with a single. Got to bring up Lars Stagcleef. Runner takes off on the first pitch. It's a change up there for a strike. Throw down, not in time. Norton steals second. Pickle now in scoring position with the go-ahead run. Stagcleef takes a change up inside for ball one. Hangs the slider, Stagley pulls it into foul territory, and that will reach the seats, one and two. 
Chase the fastball in the dirt, and he's down on strikes for the first out. My dad, Lars. That'll bring up Geronimo James, one for two today with the single. Pulled foul, 0 and 1. That's up. James takes one high, ball one. Third pitch lined out to left field. It's going to hang up, though, and Goyo makes the play, two outs. Pickle stranded still at second base here. That'll bring up Stu Burko, 0 for 2, looking to change things here. Slider ripped on the ground to Stanley on the hop. He'll go to first, and that's a third out. One leadoff single and a stolen base. Nothing comes of it. Top five, 4-4, four, four, you score. Wagner, Tools, Amata facing Presidente. Here is Wagner, 0 for 2 today, has an RBI to his credit. Spanky takes a curveball, rips it foul, 0-1. Slider low and away, fouled off, 0-2. Managed to fight that one away. Heater up and away, checked it, ball one. Two-seamer up and in, broke his bat, right to Lee, she'll make the catch on the soft pop. One out. That'll bring up Nance Tools, one for two today with the single to her credit. Cutter up and in for a strike, going one the count. Slider low and away, skied to right. LeBoink there, will make the catch for two of the second out as he hardly got to move. Gotta bring up Russ Mata, one for two with a single. Had that single back in the first inning. Fastball low, one and oh. Third ball low and away, ball one. Or strike one actually, one and one the count. Cutter up and in, two one. Two seamer up and away for strike two. Two two the count now. Slider down and in, swung through at strike three. Mata down on strikes, and Presidente has another one, two, three inning, his third in a row. Bottom five, it remains four, four. That's going to bring up Dirk Sportswood, two for two today with two singles. Fastball inside for ball one. Rawner looking to keep the game even here. Second pitch is skied out the right center field. He got a good piece of that one as that's hanging up. Tools running over. She will run it down, though, in the gap for the first out. The park is just ridiculously big out there. One out on the loud out as Jeb's up now. 0 for 2 with a strikeout to his credit. She almost chased the curveball in the dirt, but holds back. Second pitch grounded softly to the right side. Stanley cuts it off. Rawner covers, and that's the second out. We'll bring up Buck Swiner. 1 for 2 today. Single and an RBI to his credit. Turns on the first pitch. Ripped that foul into the seat. 0 and 1. Second pitch skied out to left. Goyo's going to run under it this time, and he'll make the catch for the 1-2-3 inning. Matching 1-2-3 innings in the fifth. Draw the score at 4-4. Top six, Blue, Goyo, and Moon face Presidente for the third time. First pitch curveball to... I forget who was up, but he got a hit. Runner at first now with nobody out for Goyo. Peter up and in for a strike, going one. Better low and in, taken for strike two as he faked the bunt and pulled it back, 0-2. Slider up and away, taken for ball one. Two-seamer low and away, ball two, just low, two and two. Third ball in, line softly to right center, that's gonna get down for another base hit. Two quick hits as the ball gets by LeBoink. That'll be a double, throw in. Runners rounding third, coming home. Sportswood cuts, fires, not in time. RBI double for Goya. 5-4 the score, and President Day is done. Uh, we're going to bring in the only pitcher to not pitch yesterday, Joseph Brosef. Lefty faces Man and Moon, takes a fastball at the knees for ball one. Eater middle in, swung through it, strike one. He missed that one. Two-seamer up and away for strike ball two. Apparently the umpire does not want to give us that call. Slider low and in, taken for strike two. Two-seamer up and in, taken for strike three. Moon down on strikes, one out. Now Stanley up, one for three today, facing the lefty for the first time. First pitch from Brosif is a heater down the right field line. Sportswood to make the grab, goes to second and doubles him off. Goyo thought it was getting down, but Sportswood said, no, 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 not today. Two hits, drive in a run as Presidente exits in the top of the six after recording no outs. So he goes five plus, gives up five earned runs, and the 11 hits. Bottom six we go, 5-4 your score. Le LeBoink up, 2-2 two two today. Home run and a single to his credit as Rawner faces him. First pitch turned on and pulled foul, 0-1. LeBoink needs to slow it down here. Second pitch is up for ball one, see what I mean? 
Outside, change up miss, two and one. High ball three, Leboinka heading the count. Ripped on the ground to second. Stanley there, goes to first, one out. That's gonna bring up Trisha Lee, 0 for two today. Now down batting to 250 on the season. Peter on the letters, 0 and 1. Slider ripped into the right center gap. That will get down and pass Tools all the way to the wall into that corner. Lee already on her way to second as Tools finally runs it down. Lee's thinking three. Why not? Let's go. Stanley throws it in. It's the second triple of the season for Lee as she puts a runner on with one out. Norton Pickles up. Also stole second base. Now batting 200 on the season. He's one for two today. Infield in. Liner doesn't matter. Both diving infielders miss it. Pickle drives in the tying run. It's 5-5. Five, five. Norton coming through with his second hit of the day, and that'll bring up Stagcleaf, one for two today with a single. Ronner's first pitch, Pickle takes off. It's a strike down the middle, throw down, low, and mishandled by Stanley. Norton steals second, and there's a no-1 count. Runner in scoring position with one out. Stagcleaf rips the slider on the ground to short. Roper Fields goes to first. Norton advances to third on the play, and he's now 90 feet away from scoring. Geronimo James up, one for three with a single, looking to get his second hit of the day and drive in his first RBI. James turns on it, rips that to the right field, and that's a base hit. He will do just that. Two for four today with an RBI now as it's 6-5. Hot corners, Pickle scores. Burko do up. Rawner will exit, and here comes Atlanta Lantana. We saw a lot of her last year. Not having a great year so far, which is very surprising. 964 ERA, 193 whip. That's like numbers I expect from a reliever who's like a C or a C minus, not someone who's an A. Lantana, lefty versus Burko. Bad idea, Burko gets power. Line down the right field line, that's gonna be a fair ball, and I think James is gonna score on that as that's gonna almost get all the way to the corner. Oh, well, what the fuck have I done? Go home, go home, go three, go three. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, James is thrown out because I'm stupid. <sighs> Two runs score for the hot corners though as they reclaim the lead, it's 6-5. Top seven we go. Actually, that's the first time we've played the lead all day. Roper due up here to face Brosev in his second inning of work. Heater below the knees for ball one. Heater low again, 2-0 the count. Slider up and in, taken for a strike, 2-1 the count. Two seamer low and in, grounded back to Brosev. He'll backhand and go to first, one out. Good play from Joseph. That'll bring up Randy Mann, two for three with a double and a single, RBI. Fastball low and away, grounded to the left side, diving his Lee. She cuts it off, she gets up and fires and retires the slow man for the second out. That'll bring up Wagner, 0 for three today with an RBI. Still looking for his first hit though. Two seamer low and away for ball one. Ah, oh, God, here it just. All right, want to know the count. Peter up and in, popped up behind the plate. Stagcleaf calls for it. Lars under it, he'll put it away for the third out. One, two, three inning for Brosif in the seventh. He uh, bottom seven to go at 6-5. Sportswood, two for three today. Hot corners look to get an insurance run here off Lantana. Slider up, uh, cutter up, actually, one and no. Fastball high, two and oh the count now. Turns on the third pitch, fastball rips it into the left center gap. That is gonna get down and one hop to the wall as the dive was very unnecessary for Goyo. He was nowhere near it. Double for Sportswood, his third hit of the day, and that puts the leadoff man in scoring position. Now jumps up, 0 for 3 today, Look, still looking for his first hit on the contest. Lefty versus lefty here as the first pitch is skied out to left field. Goyo calls for it, he barely had to move. And Enrique puts it away for the first out. That'll bring up. Buck Swiner, 1 for 3, single and an RBI. Looking to get his second hit of the contest. First pitch ripped to center field, that's going to hang up though, and Moon makes the catch. Buck is just the definition of bad luck here as he, all his hard hits go to a fielder. Two for three now is Billy LeBoink because he's home running a single on his line score. Looking to drive in his fourth RBI of the contest. Slider at the knees, 0-1 as Sportswood's doubles about to go to waste as the heater's inside for ball one. Third pitch ripped right on the ground to short on a hot roper to first, and the leadoff double is squandered. You get a leadoff double, but three consecutive batters fail to advance or score you. Tools not on blue to face Brosif in his third inning of work. First pitch to Tools is driven out to left center field. A high fastball is hit hard. It's at the warning track at the wall, and it is gone.
Game tied as Tools takes the fastball and deposits it in the left center seats, her third of the season. 6-6 six, six your score as Mata up now in the tie contest as Brosif has blown the win. Ball out low for ball one. Heater down, 2-0 the count. Slider away, 3-0 now. Slider middle away, taken for a strike, 3-1 your count. Two seamer low and in, taken for strike two, full count now. Slider up and away, hit on the ground to short, pickle the field, he'll go to one, first out. Now Ralph blew up, two for three today, two singles to his credit for an RBI. Peter up and in, driven out to left center field, Swiner back on it, and it's gone. Brosev really needs to start leading off with that fastball as that's two home runs off it. First of the season for Ralph Blue, it's now 7-6. to six. Wild Pigs take the lead. Slider low and away to Goyo is taken for a strike, going one. Two seamer up and in, lined in the left center gap. James can't get to it as that's another hit for Goyo. Back to back doubles for him now as that's three hits this inning. Rosef working himself into another jam. Here is Man and Moon, one for three, two strikeouts and a single and an RBI. Slider low and away, off the glove, called a strike. Lars goes to third, not in time, Goyo advances. <sighs> Peter low and in, ball one. Slider away, Stackleaf catches it this time, two and one. Two seamer low and away, right off a jumps, diving glove. It's gonna be an infield single. And a run scores, it's eight to six. Infield was in, he dove, he dropped it. Stanley up, one for four. Brosev has now officially fucked the game, and the slider is low for ball one. He low and away, taken for a strike. One and one to count. Slider middle away, hit foul by Stanley. One and two the count. Two seamer up and in, turned on to third. Lee drops it to second one on to first, not in time. It's a fielder's choice. We bring up Roper, two for four today with two singles. Two seamer up and in, ripped foul. Roper was waiting for it. Slider low and away, taken low, one and one. Slider down, ripped up the middle, diving his pickle, he can't get to it. Another base hit. Runner going to third on the play as the runners are at the corners now. Trying to bring up Randy Mann, and that's going to do it for Joseph Brosif. That's going to bring in Troy Harrison, the hard-throwing young righty, the rookie looking to get us out of this jam with the minimal damage. Change up low and away, taken for ball one. Heater down, ripped to left, diving his pickle. He can't get there. It's an RBI single, another run charge to Brosif. 9-6. Now Wagner up, 0 for 4. What can he do? Peter up and in, take it for a strike. 0 and 1 the count. Change up low and in, ground it back to the mound. Harrison gets it to first, and that's finally mercifully the end of the inning. Three run, four runs come across on two home runs. Rosef is charged with all four of them. It's 9-6. Wild Pigs look to close it out here in the 8th and 9th as the bullpen once again implodes on itself. That'll be Trisha Lee up now, one for three today. She tripled her last at bat. Behind on the fastball from Lantana, 0 and 1. Second pitch lined right to the third baseman, Blue. Why can't we get that lucky? One out. Norton Pickle up now, two for three today with an RBI and two singles. Slider low for a strike, 0 and 1. Soft liner to center, that will drop for Pickle's third hit of the game. He's three for four now, good at batting from Norton. They'll bring up Lars Stagcleef, one for three today, single back in the second inning. Singled and flown out and grounded out. Quickly behind 0-2 in the county is. And that's lined to right center, Stanley cuts it off, and that's two quick outs. Now to bring up Geronimo James now, two for four with two singles and an RBI. Slider hit up the middle, Lantana knocks it down. Go figure, she goes to first, that's the third out. Nothing doing for the Wild Pig. Hot Corners on one hit. Tools, Mata, and Blue to face Harrison in the ninth. Tools homered her last time up, which tied up the game. Fastball misses from Harrison, 1-0. Change up hit back to Harrison, he will go to first, one out. Rouse Mata up, one for four with a single. Tired with a ground out his last time up. Peter up for a strike, going one the count. Two-seamer low and in, grounded back to Harrison. He knocks it down, recovers and fires, two outs. 
That will bring up Ralph Bluey. Homer to give the Wild Pigs the lead. He will be classified as a hero. Three for four with a home run, two singles, and two RBIs so far. Heater up and away for a strike. Owen won the count. To change up low and away, taken also for a strike. Owen two, blue behind. Two seamer up and in, fouled back. Owen won the count. Heater low and in. Broke his bat and fouled off. Owen two, he stays alive. Change up low and away. Checked it for ball one, one and two. Heater up, checked again, two, two. Two seamer up and in, ripped to second. Jumps, cuts it off, fires the first. One, two, three inning for Harrison in the ninth. Good pitching from the rookie. Bottom nine, nine, six. Hot corners down three, late. Burko, Sportswood, and jumps to face Lantana in the ninth. First pitch by Burko is hit in the right field. That's a base hit. Good, good at hitting from him. Starts inning off right for us as Sportswood is up three for four today. Double and two singles to his credit. First pitch hit foul down the right field line, 0 and 1. Slider hit up the middle, easy play for Stanley to second one on the first. Another double play. Jumps up, 0 for 4. I'm not even really concerned at this point. Slider inside for a strike. Grounded softly to the left side, this should end the game as Blue cuts it off. He goes to first. And the hot corners lose again. Rosef imploded on himself in the eighth inning, gave up four runs late, and that screwed us out of the victory as we lose nine to six. Wagner is the only starter on the Wild Pigs lineup to not get a hit. Ralph Blue is your hero as he hit the go-ahead home run. Everyone in the Hot Corners lineup got a hit except for Jeff Jumps, who went 0 for 5, which is uncharacteristic for the young second baseman. Rosef gets the loss as he gives up four earned runs, two and two thirds. Presidente went five, five earned runs, 11 hits, six strikeouts. Harrison had one in the third, innings of one hit ball. Lantana goes three and a third, gives up four hits. And Jerry Rawner goes five and two thirds, 11 hits, six earned runs. He had no business getting the win. Ralph Blue, as I told you, he would be the player of the game. He's the hero. LeBoink had three, our three RBIs driven in. Uh, well, we made the top 800. That's a plus. We got one more game to play here, folks. We got to face the Wild Pigs again. See if we'll do the same damn shit we did this time. Let's just get through these computer games first. Defending champion wide loads. Blow the game to the Overdogs, 13 to 12. Uncharacteristic for them as the Overdogs improved to six and two. Freebooters bounce back to win, beat the Blowfish, seven to two. Sandcats defeat the Moose in a close one, five to four. Nemesis beat the Heaters, four to two. Plata Jacks win in extras, four to three over the Platypie. Wide loads defeat the Buzzards in a close contest, five to four. Sawteeth defeat the Freebooters late, one nothing. And the Moonstars beat the Sirloin 6-2. We are currently in third place at one and a half games back. Freebooters and Wild Pigs in front. Miles Shavewell, the rookie, won against us in the playoffs. He's 1-0 so far in the year with a 2-3 ADRA, having a good year. We get to He's their ace now, actually, since they lost Wes Yoger to free agency. We have our fourth pitcher on the hill in Tarak Smith. Oh, for one on the season, he gave up a lot of runs against the Sandcats and sits at 9.53. Earned run average with a whip of a nearly two. Buckswiner is slumping again, so Arms U will get the start in left field today. Norton Pickle's hitting well, and Stackleaf's doing okay, so we'll let him hit. Uh, we're going to move you down. LeBoyne can bat fifth. Uh... Pickle can bat six, he's doing pretty well. Leo bat seventh, and you will bat eighth. Stagleaf in the nine hole. Let's go. See what we can do this time. But thank you, Critias, for following me. I was very much appreciated as, you know, small guy. I'm not big enough to be an affiliate, so any love I can get helps. So thank you. We're now up to seven followers, folks. We're almost at double digits. Just a few more to go. Approaching the two-hour and 15-minute mark here. This will be the last game of the evening. We will get to the halfway point of the season with this game. Um, only change for their lineup is Ernie Blings is behind the plate, and Flash Evans is in right. 
Everything else looks the same. Tools goes to the left. Boyo goes to the bench. There we go. Roper to lead off here, batting 471. Pretty good a game for him in the first match as the strike there by Smith delivered to start the match. Cutter ripped into the gap. That's going to be extra bases all ready to start. James going to get it. Rowan's not going to be in time as Roper has a double to lead off. Nance tools up now, was in left, was in right field last uh, game. She's now moved over to left field. Flash Evans is back in right. First pitch heater, low and away for a ball. Missed the zone, 1-0. Curve ball up and in, taking first strike, 1-1 one one the count. Smith delivers a changeup low and in, pulled foul, 1-2. Cutter up and away, fouled off, 1-2 the count. Pass ball away, swung through it, strike three, tools down on strikes for the first out. Got to bring up Randy Mann, 333 three average, one homer and six RBIs on the year for the veteran. Smith starts with the changeup outside for ball one. Heater up, taking first strike, one and one the count. Curve ball down and in, taking first strike, one and two. Change up low and away, taking first strike three. Back to back K's for Smith now after the leadoff double. Gotta bring up Spanky Wagner. He went 0 for 5 in the first game. Got an RBI though. Batting 250 on the year now. First pitch fastball away for ball one. Cutter up and in, taking first strike. One and one the count. Smith uh, evens it up. Curve ball low and in, ripped up the middle. That's gonna be a base hit. James is charging and he's gonna come home with it. Good throw from him, will hold the runner at third. Runners at the corners now with two outs. Got to bring up Elvis Stanley, 292 average for the second baseman. Change up low and away, taking ball one. Curve ball low and away, ripped to right field, over jumps his leap. It'll drop in front of the point for a base hit. Runners going to third on the play, cut off by Pickle, and not in time. Runners still at the corners now as it's 1-0 Wild Pigs with Ernie Blings up, had a day off yesterday. Hitting 320 on the year with three home runs and seven RBIs. Loves the high pitches. Fastball up and in for a strike. Only one the count. Change up down and in to Blings. He takes it for strike two. Quickly behind in the count. Smith delivers a curveball in the dirt. Grounded softly to third. Lee will field. She'll go to first with it. And that will end the inning as the Wild Pigs scratch across a run on three hits. Smith does punch out two batters, though. Bottom one we go. Shavewell faces James Burko and Sportswood. Miles Shavewell pitched about half a season in year one for the Wild Pigs. He had a very good year. Was instrumental in them winning game number two of the playoff series last year. And he's now taken over the ace role from former ace Wes Yogurt, who left in free agency. I believe he went to the other conference, so... Shabel comes in with a 2-3-8 ERA in one start, uh, two starts actually so far with a 1-1-5 whip, having a very, very stellar year. Here is James to face. Fastball up for a strike, going one the count. Shabel has two fastballs, a slider and a curve ball as his second pitch fastball misses. Slider outside, two and one the count to James. Fastball missed inside, three and one. Shabel looks to find the plate. The one knock on Shadewell is that he's very wild with his pitches as he throws a five-pitch walk to James to lead off. Here is Burko now, 387 average, two homers and seven RBIs for the DH. Strike on the inside on the fastball from Shadewell, only one the count. Check this swing on that fastball, it's inside for ball one. Fastball up, two and one the count as he looks to find the zone. Fourth pitch ripped out to right field over the diving Stanley's glove. It's off Evans' glove and ricochets behind him as James will get the third on the play. Runners at the corners for Burko as his mojo's up. Two hits to lead. Two runners on to start the game. And thanks to a walk and a single, gives Sportswood an RBI opportunity as he had three hits last game, improving his average to 400 on the season. Sportswood ready. Here we go. Fastball inside from Shavewell, 1-0 the count. I believe the only thing wrong with him is his accuracy, as I've mentioned before. It's below 50. Uh, his velocity and junk range up around 80, 90 area, so he's a very good pitcher, but if he can't control his stuff, he's going to get into trouble. 
Second pitch is ripped to right field over the leaping blings, and that's going to get into the corner for X possible extra bases. Evans can't play it off the wall. As what's going to get in with a double. Burko advances the third on the play, and James scores. Game up at one. Good hitting from the top three in the order as two hits and a walk. Have the hot corners in the driver's seat here with Jeb jumps up. Rookie went over the second year second baseman, I'm sorry, went over five in the first game against the Wild Pigs, dropping his average below 400. Let's see if he can bounce back. Second first pitch is skied out to left field. Tools in on it. She will make a catch for the first out as that will be too shallow for Burko to score. One out now as LaPoink is up. He is at 400 on the season. Hit his second home run of the season in the first game against the Wild Pigs. Slider at the letters for a strike, going one. Fastball up, misses, ball one. Third pitch is ripped to right field. Caught by Stanley, though, as it was right to him. Two outs now, and Norton Pickle has to drive him in. He's back 273, had three hits last game, and drove in a run. Still looking for his first home run on the season, though. First pitch hit up the middle. That's going to be a base hit as Burkle's going to score easily, and Sportswood's going to try it. Moon comes up throwing to the plate, and it's going to be late. Cut off by Wagner. Two RBI single for Pickle. Has it a 3-1 game. Trisha Lee up now, hit a triple her last game. Fastball up, called a strike, 0-1. Second pitch is skied out to left field into foul territory, though, and that will just hit off the wall as Tools can't get to it, 0-2. Turned on the curveball and pulled foul as Wagner dove unreasonably. Skied out to left center field. This should be an easy play for Tools as she's under it. And she'll make the catch for the third out as Lee is retired. Three runs come across, though, on three hits and a walk. And the Hawkorns reclaim the lead. Evans, Blue, and Moon do up. Here is Flash Evans. He had a game off in day. In, well, he already took the first game off. He's batting 250 on the year. That explains why. Heater low and away for a strike on one. Smith gets ahead in the count. Curveball low for ball one. Change up up and into Evans as he pops it up on the left side. Lee in foul territory ranges over behind the coaching box, and she can't get to it. My God. One and two the count. Cutter up and away from Smith is popped behind the plate off the net. One and two. Here low and away, taken for ball two. Two and two the count to Evans. Her ball low and in, taken for ball three, just misses. Full count. Change of blown away, swung through it by Evans, and he is down on strikes for the first out. That'll bring up Ralph Blue, hitting 400 on the year, hit the go-ahead home run in, yes, in the first game today. Uh, first pitch line to right, though, and LeBoink will make the catch easily for the second out. And Man and Moon up, 235 average for him. He had two hits in the contest. First pitch, fastball on the outside for strike one. Change up low and in, taking strike two as he checked on it, 0-2 the count. Smith delivers a curveball down and away. Pulled foul by Moon as he tries to stay alive here. Cutter up and in, above the zone, taken for ball one. Oh, that missed. I blinked at the wrong time. 2-2 the count. Curveball low and in, taken for ball three. Full count here to Moon. Two outs. Change up low and away. Fouled off. Moon trying to stay alive. I believe he chased ball four there. Eater middle in. Ripped up the middle. That'll get by a diving pickle into center field. That's the fourth hit of the day for the... Wild Pigs. That keeps the inning alive as Roper comes, as that flips, also flips the lineup over, and Snag Roper comes up still on fire as he doubled it in the first inning. First pitch fastball up and in, taken for a strike. 0 and 1. Change up down and away, ripped into right field. Another base hit for Roper as he's 2 for 2. The blank comes up throwing and holds the runner to second. We're going to Nance Tools 0 for 1 today with a strikeout. First pitch is a curveball down and away for a strike, 0 and 1 the count. Cutter up and away, checked and taken for strike two. 0-2 oh, two the count. Fastball down and in, rip the third. Lee dives to cut it off. She'll go to first with it, and that will retire the side. Two more hits for the Wild Pigs, but nothing comes of them as Smith gets out of the inning. 3-1 your score to the bottom of the second. That'll bring up Arms U, rookie, batting 375 on the year. Started in the first two games and now starts for Buck Swiner and left as he takes a pitch high for strike one. Her ball inside misses, ball one. Inside. Fastball inside, two and one the count now. Shea ball's behind. Ball high. Third pitch, fourth pitch fastball's up, three and one. Fifth pitch is lined straight out to right center field, but that's going to hang. Moon will catch it, and that's one out. Now to bring up Lars Stagleaf now, batting 333 on the year as an RBI to his credit, nothing else. 
First pitch ripped hard on the ground to third. It's off the diving third baseman. Ricochets the roper, and they will still get stack leap at first because guess what? His speed is an eight. Two outs now, and James up. Drew a walk in the first inning. No official at bat to his credit. First pitch fastball hit up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit as James does get his first hit of the contest and his first official at bat. His two out single will keep the inning alive as Burke goes up. Go, buddy. Run, James. Why do they always pick me off? It's like they're always in my fucking brain. James picked off the end of the inning. Top three we go. It's 3 1. First pitch to Randy Mann is a high end cutter for a strike from Smith. Owen won the count. Fastball down, taken for ball one, one and one. Third ball down, ripped up the middle. Mann gets another hit. James has to cut it off, and he does. So that will hold Mann to just a single. Lead off man on for the Wild Pigs. Has no business here. Is that a bring up Spanky Wagner? One for one today. Singled back in the first inning. First pitch low and away for a strike. Going one the count. Change up down. Rip to right field. Second hit of the day for Wagner. So that puts the first two batters on in the inning as there Smith is in trouble. And I'll bring up Elvis Stanley. One for one today as a single in an RBI to his credit. Cutter down and away. Taken for a strike. Going one. Peter up and in, looked at for ball one as it almost hits him. Just hand capped him. Curve ball down and in, taken low. Two and one the count. Fastball up and away, swung through it by Stanley. Two and two the count. Change up down and away, ground at the short. Pickles got a hurry, goes to second one, on to first with it as jumps, not in time. Stanley beats it out. One out, runners at the corners now for Blings. Blings fastball down and away, skied to you in left field. Make the catch for the first out. Runner's going to try and tag and will fake draw the throw out as he holds. Runner's at the corners for Evans, who struck out his first time up. Curve ball down and away. Rip the first. Sportswood there. He'll tap the bag, and that's the third out as Smith gets out of the jam. Bottom three we go. It's 3 1. Burko, Sportswood, and jumps two up. Here is Stu Burko, one for one today, has a single to his credit. Curve ball outside for ball one, as that wasn't even close to the zone. Fastball at the knees for a strike, one and one. Nope, inside. Slider inside, missed, two and one the count. That's inside. Slider inside and missed again, three and one. And that was a curveball, actually. Swung through the fastball, full count. Slider hangs at the top of the zone, and Burko crushes it to dead center, but that will not get to the wall as Moon runs it down for the first out. Now Sportswood up, one for one today, double and an RBI to his credit. Slider broke in the middle of the zone, 0 and one. Slider outside, missed, one and one. Fastball behind, one and two. Curve ball pulled into shallow center. That liner will die in front of Moon for a two for two today. <coughs> one out, one out. It's a one out hit for sports. What is jumps is up now with a runner at first base. O for his last six at bats. Second baseman takes one inside for ball one. Outside, two and oh. Fastball up, two and one the count. Nope, outside. Curve ball outside, three and one. Ball four, Checked his swing, it's high for ball four and jumps works the walk. Second of the day for Shave. Well, it's two runners on with one out for Billy LeBoink. Right fielder hitting 385 on the year, 0 for one today. First pitch, he's behind on the fastball, 0 1 the count. Curve ball hit up the middle, past the diving infielder, and that's going to get to center field. Moon gets it in quickly, and the bases will be loaded now with only one out. Norton pickle up. He drove in two runs with a single last time up. Let's see what he can do this time around as he's got the bases loaded and only one out. Ball in outside for ball one. They're playing double play depth. Corners are not in. They are playing back. Also looking to get the double play. Let's see what Pickle can do. Swung through the fastball. One and one the count. Don't know why I keep missing it. Hit it up the middle, and that's going to get through for a base hit as the first run will score easily. Second run's going to deke out the throw, but hold it third. It's an RBI single for Pickle. It's third RBI of the day, and also his second hit for one hot corners. Brings up Trisha Lee, 0 for 1 with a line out to left field. Fastball up and in for a strike. That was a two-seamer, 0 and 1. Second pitch, she's behind on the fastball, 0 and 2. Heater called a strike the letters, which I find highly fucking debatable. Two outs now, and you up with the bases loaded. Rookie looking to come through in the clutch. 
Curveball hangs in the middle of the zone. It's over the third baseman, and that's going to get by into the corner. Pickle goes to third. Going to be in a run down here as two runs do come in to score on the single by Yu. Pickle is out at second, and that will end the inning. But three runs do come across as the Hot Corners extend the lead 6-1 to one on a couple of hits. Top four, Blue, Moon, and Roper do up. Here is Ralph Blue to face Tarak Smith for the second time today, 0 for 1. Takes a heater on the inside corner for a strike, going 1. Curveball down in the way, looked at low for ball 1, 1-1. One one. Cutter up and in, ball 2, 2-1. Two Fastball up and away, ripped into the right center gap. That's going to get down in front of James's dive for the first base runner of the inning. Another hit on the leadoff batter. Now the center Moon up now, singled his first time up, looking to do so again here. First pitch fastball is down in the way for a strike, going one. Change up, up and in, ripped into right field. That is gone, folks. It's a two-run homer for Man and Moon uncharacteristic for him as it's his first of the season and it's now six to three as Smith served up a meatball. Roper up now two for two double and a single to his credit. Curveball swung through it 0-1 he was looking fastball. Change up down and in taken for a ball missed inside 1-1. One one. Fastball up taken for ball two two and one the count. Curveball down and away, rip to left, past the diving pickle, third consecutive fucking hit for the goddamn wild pigs. And Roper is three for three. Now tools up, 0 for two today. Going the complete option of Roper, takes a curveball down up the middle, pickle catches it, flips the second one, on to first, it's a double play. Thank God for tools. Now Randy Mann up, had a single his last time up, one for two today. Heater up and away, line to left, over the leaping Lee, it's down the line into the corner, and you has to chase it. He gets it in, but it's going to be a double for Randy. His second hit of the day puts another runner in scoring position. Going to bring up Spanky Wagner, two for two today, looking to go three for three. Change up low on the outside, 0 and 1. Gator up and away, taking for a strike, 0 and 2 the count. Curveball ball down and in, rip foul, 0 and 2. Cutter up and in, hit out the level, James on it. At the warning track, he'll call it and makes the catch for the third out. Wild Pigs get two more on the bomb by Moon, and they also scratch across to 11 hits, but they're still trailing 6-3. to three. Bottom four we go, Stagleaf, James, and Burko to face Shave well. Here is Lars Stagleaf, over one today with a ground out. Slider ripped right to the second baseman, Stanley, for the first out. Bad luck for him. One quick out as James is one for one today with a single and a walk to his credit. Slider fouled off, 0-1 on the count, shave well ahead. Second pitch pulled foul, 0-2. Third pitch popped up in the shallow center field. It's going to be an easy play for Moon as he runs in on it. Center fielder makes the catch for the second out. Going to bring up Stu Burko, 1-2 for two today with the single. Turns on the first pitch, rips it dead left center field, but Moon's right there, and that's the third out. One, two, three, inning four. Shavewell, top five. Six, three, your score. Well, the Stanley first up here in the fifth as the first pitch fastball on the outside for ball strike one. Third ball down and in. Popped up on the infield as Jumps comes in for it. He's calling it. Jeb will put it away for the first out, thankfully. That'll be Ernie Blings up, 0 for 2 today. 296 average for him. Fastball down and away. Sky to left, shallow. Arms is there to make the play, two outs. Gotta bring up Flash Evans, 0 for 2 today. First pitch down in the way is a change up, strike one. Cutter up and in, swung through it. He was way out in front, 0 and 2 the count. Fastball down and in, grounded softly to short. Pickle charges, he goes to first, and that's a 1 2 3 inning for the hot corners. Smith gets through the fifth cleanly as it's 6 3. Sportswood jumps in the point to face Shavewell. Dirk Sportswood up 2 for 2 today, double single and RBI to his credit. Fastball to letters for a strike, going 1. Curve ball pulled foul, 0 and 2. Curve ball lines softly to center. That will definitely drop in front of Moon as he was playing deep. Sportswood's now 3 for 3 on the day. That'll bring up Jeb Jumps, 0 for 1 with a walk. Jeb Jumps. First pitch line to left, leaping his blue to make the catch, and that's the first out. Unlucky. That'll bring up Billy LeBoink, 1 for 2 today with a single. 
First pitch line in the right center gap. That's going to get down. Will Evans cut it off? Yes, he will. Runners will stay at first and second with only one out. Had that gotten by him, Sports would easily get third. Now Pickle up two for two today. Has two singles and three RBIs to his credit. Can he do it one more time? Fastball up and in for a ball. 1-0. Shabo missed. Second pitch, Sky softly to left center. That's going to get down. Tools made the catch. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you, Nance. Double play ends the inning. 6-3 to the sixth. We're going to let Smith start. He gives up a hit. He's done. Curveball on the way. Uh, shallow center. James charging. He'll make the catch one out. We bring up Man and Moon. 2-2 two two today. Single and an RBI to his credit. Fastball down and away. Call the strike. Going one. Change up down and in. Rip to second. Jumps the field on the hop. Goes to first. Two outs. Gonna bring him Snag Roper, three for three, double and two singles to his credit. Heater up and in, taken for ball one, one and oh. Third ball outside, taken for ball two, two and oh. Change up down and in, pulled foul by Roper, two and one. Cutter up and away, ball three, three and one. Cutter down, taken for ball four as Smith walks. Gonna bring him Nance Tools, over three today, hit into a double play her last time up. Change up down and in, ripped into center field. That's going to be her first hit as James dives and cuts it off. It's off his body, though. Gets the throw in quickly, and the runners will hold at the corners. Now That's going to do it for Tarak as Randy Mann is due up. We're going to go with the little, hold up. Let's see. Lefty, lefty, switch, lefty, righty, righty, lefty. Roper's righty, righty. Uh, either way. We're going to go with Kyson Manning, the rookie lefty, coming out of the bullpen now, looking to get out of the jam. First pitch fastball is down in the way for a ball as Mann takes it. Change up low, taking for ball two. Two and oh, the count. High inning curveball, taking for strike one as the throw is down from Stagcleaf. Not in time, almost got the runner. Stolen base for tools as it's now two and one count. Change up is up and away. Line to third. Lee makes the catch, and that's the third out as Manning gets out of the jam. Good pitching from the rookie to strand the runners. Bottom six. It remains six to three. Lee, you and Stag leave up the face shave well. Here is Trisha Lee, 0 for 2 today. First pitch fastball skied to dead center field. That's Park's going to be big enough to hold it, though, as it's the wrong part, place to hit it. First out. Manning. Moon there to make the play. Got to bring up Arms U. One for two today with the single and two RBIs. Rookie swings through the first pitch fastball. Own one. Inside. Curveball inside for ball one. First third pitch, Sky grounded softly to second. Lee Stanley makes the play. Two outs. Got to bring up Stag Cleef. Over two today. Not hitting very well at the moment. Slider hit up the middle. Base hit for Lars. Good hitting from him as he gets back to 333 on the year. Stagcleave keeps the inning alive with a two out hit. And that'll bring up Geronimo James. And that will do it for Shavewell as lefty hander Speciallo is coming in with that specialist trait. ERA is a 794 with a whip of 159. Now their bullpen is very rested as only Lantana pitched yesterday. So we should not see her again unless uh, something weird happens. So Especialos looking to go pretty far. First pitch is inside for a strike on the fastball from Especialo. Second pitch fastball, Sky to shallow center field. In on it is Moon, and he'll put it away for the third out. Especialo strands the runner. Top seven, it's 6-3. Wagner, Stanley and Bling's due up against Manning. There is Spanky Wagner. His first pitch change ups down and in. Grounded to short. Pickle cuts it off up the middle. He'll go to first, and that's one out. Got to bring up Elvis Stanley, one for three today with a single and an RBI. First pitch fastball down and in for a strike, going one. Curve ball up and away from Manning, called a strike, going two. Is that surprise, Stanley? He was not expecting it to be up there. Change up, up, popped up on the infield. Manning behind the mound, calls for it on the right side of the infield. He'll make the catch for the second out. Got to bring up Bernie Bling, 0 for three today. First hits, curveball's down and away, grounded to third. Lee dives and cuts it off. She's going to get up and fire, and she retires Blings for the 1 2 3 inning. Great defensive play, Trisha. 1 2 3 inning for Manning in the seventh. Bottom seven we go, 6 3. Especiallo in for his first full inning of work, technically a second. Burko sports with a jump stew up. The designated hit
Here is Stu Burko, one for three today with a single to his credit as the power versus lefty activates. First pitch slider skied out to left center field, Moon over, and he will run it down for the first out. Good play there from Manon, and then Sportswood up. Three for three today, double two singles and an RBI for the former Sawteeth first baseman. First pitch, fastball driven left center field. Get up ball, get up ball. It's diving as Moon to Rob Sportswood. What a catch. Oh, it's got to be play of the year contender right there for Man and Moon as he gets the second out. Jumps takes a slider in curveball inside for a strike going one. Second pitch, grounded softly to second. Lee Stanley will field and retire him for the third out. One, two, three inning for Ospecialo. Top eight you go, it's 6-3. Evans, Blue and Moon face Manning, who's only thrown nine pitches here through two innings. First pitch, fastball, strike at the knees. Oh, and one. Change up down and away, swung through 0-2 by Evans. Manning comes back with a curveball low, swung through it, strike three, and Manning gets a K. Good pitching from Kyson. Ralph Blue up now, one for three today with a single. First pitch fastball up and away for a strike, going one. Peter up and in, ripped to the left side. Pickle leaps, it's off his glove, and that'll be the first hit given up by Manning as Blue will reach with one out in the eighth. That'll bring up Man and Moon, he's two for three today, home run and a single, retired his last time up. Two RBIs, he got a walk. First pitch curveball on the ground, jumps, fields, goes to second one, on to first, not in time. Fielder's choice as Moon hustles down the line. Roper drew a walk his last time up, he's three for three today, double and two singles, he's got on base all four times he's been at the plate. First pitch change up down and away, runner goes to second, throw down by Stagcleaf, not in time, stolen base for Moon. Let's pick him off now. No. Ball one. Oh, and won the count. And delivers a fastball up and in. Moon, Roper takes it high for ball one. Curve ball down and in. Ripped up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. Moon's going to try and score on this. James is going to come up throwing. And it is not in time. Single RBI for Roper. 6-4 your score as Tools is up now. Single her last time up. She's one for four. Heater up and in. Popped up behind the plate. Stackleaf running back on it. It's going to get out of play, though, I think. And it does. 0-1. Curve ball down and away. Hit foul. Sportswood cuts it off. 0-2. Change up down. Takes for ball one. Good eye there. Tools. One and two. Fastball gets over Sportswood's glove into the corner and right center. The point can't even track it down though. Here comes the throw in. B runners at second and third with two outs. Tying run in scoring position with Randy Mann up. This is the go-ahead run. Let's see if the bullpen can get out of this jam. Manning's first pitch fastball is outside for ball one. Curveball up and in. Popped up to the right side, jumps in on it, makes the catch for the third out, and Manning gets out of his own mess. One run does score on the play on three hits, but nothing comes of it. 6-4 to the bottom of the eighth. LeBoink, Pickle, and Lee up to face of Speciallo. Bring up Billy LeBoink. LeBoink up first, 429 average. First pitch lined in the left center field. That'll drop over the leaping glove for a base hit. Good job for Billy. Gets on. That's going to call for a pinch runner here. We're going to put Buck Swiner in to run. He's not stealing. But we are definitely going to have him as a better runner. Pickle up. Fastball inside for ball one. One and out. That's outside. Curveball outside, miss, 2-0, and Speciallo behind. Third pitch ripped into left field. That will drop in front of Tools' glove for a base hit. Back-to-back -back hits now, have two runners on for the hot corners as Trisha Lee's due up, 0 for 3 today. Trisha Lee. Corners in, playing bunt defense as the first pitch curveball's there for strike one. Second pitch is ripped into right center field. That's going to get into the gap. Here we go, folks. Get the wheels turning. One run around third. Swiner's going to score easily. Tools is rounding second, looking for three again. She's going for her third game with a triple in a row. She did it again. Tools triples in two. As both runners come in to score, as Arms U is up with a runner at third and no outs. So Lee just tripled in. Buck Swiner, who pinch ran for LeBoink. And Norton Pickle. Wow. 8-4, your score. The Hot Corners get the lead up to four. U takes one at the letters for a strike, going one. Slider ripped into left field. That is going to get down in front of Tools, a base hit, and Lee will come in to score. It's 9-4, Hot Corners, thanks to the rookie's RBI single. And now brings up Stagcleaf, as Especiallo is having the wheels come off him in the eighth inning. 
Stagcleef drives the first pitch deep to left center field. And it's going to be run down by Moon for the first out. Come on, let's be realistic. Lars is never going to go yard. Here is Geronimo James, one for three today. Single and a walk to his credit as Especialo has specialist activate. First pitch is swung through by James as he was aiming outside and missed 0-1. Curveball misses the zone, 1-1. One one. Throw to first, not in time. Yu gets back. Third pitch, ripped the first off of Bling's glove, Wagner's glove. And he's safe at second. What a play. That's an error by Wagner as the runners are on first and second now for Burko. Behind on the fastball, 0-1 the count. Popped up in foul territory. That's going to be an easy play. Nope, he can't reach it. Wagner missed, 0-2. Old foul into the count. Burko looking to go yard. Popped up on the infield. That should be an infield fly. They have called it. Blue puts it away. Two outs. That'll bring up Dirk Sportswood. Three for four. Double and two singles and an RBI for the first baseman. Strike at the letters on the fastball. Owen won the count. Turns on the second pitch. It's hit in the left center field weakly. In on it is Moon, though, and he'll make the catch for the third out. Hot corners push across three, thanks to four timely hit. Top nine we go. It's 9-4. Wagner, Stanley, and Blings do up. Twiner will remain in the game and play left field. You will be in right. Let's make some defensive subs here. We are going to take jumps out, and Fordo is going to play second. And we are also going to bring in Caleb McClure to play second and have Fordo move over to third base. Oliver still is the catcher. We'll leave him on the bench just in case Lars gets hurt. First pitch fastball is outside for Manning. Well, 1 0. Change up down and in. Pulled foul. 1 1. Third ball down and away. Outside for 2 1. Fastball outside. 3 1. Fastball down in the way, taken for strike two, full count. Change up, up and in, line down the right field line, it's foul. Curveball down, ripped into center field, James back on it, he's at the warning track, he will turn around and make the catch for the first out as the park is big enough to hold it. Gonna bring up Elvis Stanley, one for four with a single and an RBI, Manning two outs away. Last ball down in the way for a ball one. It's just missed the zone. Curveball down and in. Take it for a strike. One and one. Change up up and in. Rip down the left field line. Hooking towards the corner. Off the foul pole. Very top of it. What a shot from Stanley. That's a solo homer. 9-5. Your score is first of the year. Now batting. Now we have Ernie Blings, and that will do it for Kyson Manning. He had a good outing. We're going to go with um, Amazo Hayes to finish. Brady Blings takes the first pitch fastball hard on the ground is short. Pickle there. He goes to first. One out. Good one pitch out from Hayes. And I'll bring up Flash Evans over for four today. Not having a good day. Change up down. Take it for ball one. Fastball up and away. Take it for a strike as he checked on it. One and one. Third ball down and in. Ball two. Two and one your count. Slider away. Popped up in the shallow left field. Swiner in on it. He's calling off the fielders. And Buck puts it away for the final out of the game. Hot corners rebound to win and remain back at 500. Four and four on the year. 9-5 is your final, as it was a great hitting contest. 16 to 15, we did lose that end. But we did manage to get the runs across. Three on three separate occasions. Wild Pigs did make it close, though, there at the end. Everyone in their lineup got a hit except Blings and Evans, who both went 0 for 5, with Evans striking twice in the process. And on our side, um, Jumps went 0 for 3 again, got on base with the walk. Not hitting very well all of a sudden. Swiner was a defensive replacement, so he doesn't count. Jeb Jones was the only starter not to get a hit. Wow, impressive. Everyone else at least managed one. RBIs came Sportswood, he had one, pick three, Lee two, and U three. Good job for the rookie. Tarak Smith gets the win in five and two thirds, giving up 12 hits, a walk, three earned runs. Manning goes two and two thirds, gave up four hits, two earned runs. And Hayes gets the last two outs of the game. Uh, Shave Well goes five and two thirds, gives up 11 hits, and two walks, six earned runs. Alejandro Especiala goes two and a third, four hits, three earned runs for him.
player of your game is Snag Roper, who goes four for four with a double, three singles, and a walk. Got on all five times he was at the plate. Man and Moon, two for four with a home run and two RBIs. And then finally, we have a player on here, Norton Pickle, three for four, three RBIs, three singles. And also, I believe he stole two bases. Good outing for us as we finally almost move into the top 775. So halfway through the year, we are currently sitting in moderately good position. We have second place in the division, I think, at 4-4. Four and four. We'll have to see how the other games shake out here. I don't think I went and looked at the player development traits here. Shit. All right, let's have a look. Crocodons beat the Beewolves 3-2. Jacks win over the Grapplers, 9-5. They're coming back with a vengeance now as they started out 0-5. Won four in a row now. Very streaky team. Sawteeth and Herbosaurs in a slugfest. Herbosaurs edge them out, 15-8. Good for them. Uh, they're 3-5 and five now. Platypie beat the Overdogs, 8-3. Yes, we have second place in the division. We remain a game back of the Freebooters, who, remember, we've already lost two once, but we play them two more times here in the middle part of the second half of the season. So that'll be an interesting matchup. We play the Moose one more time. We also play the Wild Pigs once more, and the Herbosaurs, I believe, once more as well. So we will see all of our division rivals. I believe next up, though, we have two out-of-conference game, out-of-division games, and we do. We have the Blowfish, and then we will take on the Sawteeth immediately afterwards. Herbosaurs signed Turbo Miles. He will replace Ray Cummings. Uh, Heaters will sign Linus Digby to strengthen up their bullpen, replacing Boris Bigsworth. I think that's it so far. Uh, Hammerlong Balo is leaving the Herbosaurus. He's replaced by Hammer O'Wugliums as they realize they're not winning with him on the team. Jose Tremendo has been signed. He will go to the Crocodons and replace Juanita Hernandez. Leonar Ramiro is replaced by Holder Close on the Sirloin's bullpen. Uh, Biff Noggins replaces Janice Figueroa for the Overdogs. Sirloin signed Jade Cox, going to replace Walker Runs. Thank God we already played them, so we won't see her this season. Just Bros gets in contact. What good's that gonna do him? He's a pitcher. Wonderfloss got released. Released by the Moonstars for Chasey Kim. And I think I'm thinking of Wedhams. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking of Wedhams. That's my bad. I thought they released their guy who was doing really well. Might be, might be wrong, dude. Wrong dude. That's on me. All right, so we do have some player development things. Let's get them settled, and then we'll stop for the day. Ah, uh, one speed plus three or seven fielding for Dig. I mean, not really necessary. He doesn't run well anyway, and he already has the best fielding on the team in 92, so I don't really need that. Uh, Mezo's got two games for that one, so that's fine. Stimulants for Lars, that'd be nice to get. He does need that. We got Ni Kaiser can get mechanics tune up, maybe get composed, but it's very low chance. This one's a dumb one for Norton. We're not going to get that, and I'm definitely not going to give bad jumps to Trisha, so. I mean, hmm. Is it really that bad, though? She gets fielding up, which she does need, but you know what? I'm not going to not gonna, not gonna give her a negative trait this late in her career, so that's rude. Uh, Hayes, we need, do need to improve his velocity, but we can improve some... It's at 0% for the next two games, so we don't need to buy it right away. Dig. This one's fairly cheap. I can get this one, and I can get Lars and do both of them, and we'll have three spots open next time, because I bet Norton's disappears. So let's go ahead and do that. 43. He gets the plus three, so he's up to 95. Good for him. Good job, Dig. And now Lars gets contact and fielding, which he needs. Contact goes up to three. Fielding goes up to 12. Nice. That's going to 80. All right. Good job, Lars. Way to go. Maybe you'll stop dropping the damn balls back there when I throw breaking pitches in the dirt. Or outside of the zone. Alrighty, that's good for us. That's all I need. Alright, so we're taking on the Blowfish. They're still contact specialists, and we... That's where Yogurt went. He went to the Blowfish. I gotta play him? Come on, bro. What the hell? He left the division. I was hoping I wouldn't have to face him this year, but it looks like luck is not on my side. But he's not doing very well recently. He's oh and lost both of his starts. His ERA is only a 2-5-3, so he probably gives up like maybe one run a game, and the team never scores for him. Aces will be dueling as Kaiser will draw him. So let's see if Noah can actually defeat him. Yolanda managed to do it in the playoffs. Let's see if Noah can do it in the regular season. All right. 
I'm going to set the lineup and then we're going to sign off for the night as I got to get up for work. Have a look here. These guys are all hitting well. I see no reason to make some changes. Uh, I mean, we could put Buck out and left, take you out, um, take Stagleave out, put Oliver back in. Um, that's really it. Norton's finally hitting the ball, so good for Norton. Uh, Lee's going to bat third. Uh, eighth, actually. Actually, we'll let Lee bat nine. Uh, Pickle can bat eighth, I guess. We'll let LeBoink bat six. Oliver will bat seventh. Swiner can bat five, I guess. Sports with bat three. He's hitting very well. Yeah, Swiner will bat five. That's fine. Jumps will be four, sports with three, Burko two, James one, perfect. Lineup's ready. That's awesome. Um, but uh, that's going to do it for the stream today, guys. That was a nice, uh, solid three hours. Um, Critios uh, Zero, if you're still here, thank you. Uh, it means a lot to me that you actually found me worthy of being followed. Um, I'm not an affiliate level, so, you know, having as many followers as I do is a blessing. Thank you. And if you're the viewer still here, thank you for sticking around this entire time and listening to me babble on and be a commentator for a um, animated baseball league. Thanks. Halfway through the season, Hot Corner sit at four and four, second place in the Division One game back of the Freebooters. Can they finally get momentum in the positive direction? We shall see. All right, guys, that's all for me now. I'll catch you in the next episode. This is the Nasty One signing off.